Okay, we're going. Well, this is our second attempt doing this. Last time we tried to do it, and it resulted in a cursed stream yes. with creepy pasta eyes. And that was before we started World of Horror. Yeah. And then, uh, so that was our backup so for I an actual horror game. So we spent, uh, we spent, a, I spent a week trying to solve it, and uh, in between, in between sessions of uh, Hollow Knight, and it, I was just running into a wall. I didn't know what the fuck was going on, and then. I decided to check it one last time, just to, just 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 to say like, yeah, it's not working, but it's it was working. And so I, it's running better now. It's, it's running, still not perfect, but it's it should be streamable. It's playable, for the most part. Uh, so, so we're gonna, so I'm gonna, he's gonna see it in like 15 frames per second, and glory is 480p. Care. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll do. I'll try to do better next time when we play a game that's more optimized. I, I do that whenever I'm broadcasting to you. I do the lowest quality settings. Yeah, fair enough. So uh, I, I only really need to know what's going on, and even then, if this doesn't work, I'll just I'll just watch it on stream. Yeah, delayed. It'll be funny. But the point is, Jack gets to play Jack and Daxter. Yeah, I wanted to do this for for some time now, and I was and I just wasn't able to. Uh, but so you booting up and then screen share. Yep. Oh. Discord! Uh-oh, I gotta reset the... Come on. There, you see that? Uh, yes. It is... Is OBS capturing your cursor? Uh... It shouldn't be. I don't think it is, but I'll keep it on the very bottom just in case. And then... That is beneath the chat and alert boxes. Yep. Hello, silly otter person. Otter? Is that what he's called? He's an otter? Oxel. Ox oxel. Half Whatever. otter, half weasel. It's an oxel. Yeah, this is running way better. Uh oh. Is it uh, chugging again? 70%. As opposed to we were getting 85 when not streaming. Yeah, so I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to watch it on t live on Twitch. Oh, that's okay. All right. I'm All right. You can uh, end the screen share. Yep. All right. We're getting. That's slightly better. I hope. Oh no. Don't mind me. I'm just checking the stream audio levels and such and such. All sounds good. So we wanna we wanna make a I new. Yeah, you're making. I did. Yeah. For the answers that my father, and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco I've played this the game life a few times. I didn't world? grow up with what it. What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I think I I've played the, the plants. I'll let the intro cut in happen. Yeah. The plants have asked Serious the rocks, Somos, man. But the rocks do not recall. Samus. Eric. Even the rocks do not recall. The rocks don't remember. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Remember the previous attempts when he was all super speedy? Yeah. I'm interested in the search for truth and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> I'm not too bad. I'm only like a, like a second or so two seconds behind. The All right, cool. Begins not with careful research. Uh oh. Sensible thinking. <laughs> oh no! It's... Today, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins. I get Wind Waker vibes from this island, like Forsaken Fortress. Yeah. This, this game's about as serious as Wind Waker. Seemingly, you said this game was very generic for its time. Uh, I'll talk about it more once we're actually in the game. Yeah. There's a lot of cutscenes in the start of this game, not skippable. Yeah. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. Hello, alien Dalong Wong. precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. 
E. Well, shit. I guess what are it's we a good thing they anyway, came. Jack? Yeah. This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. It's weird how they treat precursor Eek! What shit is that as junk? Just... Ooze. It sure don't look friendly. <sighs> the sage yaps on about the precursor that Uncle built this Chan place all the time. World. Where did they go? Why the did they build this place? You can like bring the precursor artifact as as the next guy. to the but antique shop. Me, they must have been a real loser. <laughs> I <-ya! laughs> It's just a cartoon. It's just a. Wait. What if I do this? It is cartoony, but it's not as forced as like the Crash games I've been playing that are more like uh, Looney Tune style. Uh. I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened. What? Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. He takes this better than Ronma turning into a girl. Yeah. I mean, he screamed. What in green tarnation He's over do it, you though. want? We, we, yeah. We was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Yep. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then And Daxter, you finally took a much needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Dark oh, eco. Are you going to keep yapping or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, yeah, you don't I look as tell generic if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Far to the north. Nobody Still better than last time. Spoken to him in ages. They can't handle all that I open world. There, but <laughs> I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only What's other the way point north of it? is by foot through the fire canyon. But it's, it's like having a cell phone that you keep off all the time. Yeah. Metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. Who's that voice actress? All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy uh, to withstand the we found out. Oh is yeah, right, the Daddy? plant Digimon. Yes, Kira, that yeah, you're right. Work. I recognize that. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I That's think currency. there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find this is reverse the inflation without this training. series. Before yeah. I'm like Ratchet and Clank. Whereas the collectible orbs in this game uh, are going to be rare as shit in the next doc game. Doing eco stuff, <laughs> will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. Can he? Can he do that? All right. It actually happened in Crash as well. The game that I was playing, the Wumpa Fruits, were super scarce. Alright. Yep, controls like a like a PS2 era platformer. I can punch. I can spin. 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 Imagine a platforming character who spins to attack. In a Naughty Dog game, no less. <laughs> so did Naughty... What else did Naughty Dog do? They did Uncharted, right? They did Uncharted after several Jack games. That was their third big series. Yeah, and then they did Last of Us and Last... And, uh, the, uh, 
critically acclaimed but audience shamed uh, Last of Us Part 2. Is that Naughty Dog doing that? Yeah, I believe that was them. So, they're very divisive right now. But you know what was cool? They're doing platformers. Yeah. <laughs> Developer Naughty Dog. Yep, you're right. Wow, they really went full, uh, full story mode after. It's weird because Jack 2, they, it's like, it's like Last of Us Part, the Last of Us series was like Jack 2, except, except hard. Hardcore. Yeah. Yep. It was being saved. Like they started with Crash, though, which was very focused on gameplay, non-verbal, not really story at all. And it's just been a very gradual, very harsh change of style over the course of Naughty Dog's existence. It seems like I can I can shoot using something later on with that triangle, because look, I got... Uh, I think later on, yes. Yeah, I, I get access to some kind of ranged weapon. So you can't read this is the first level. It's gonna be a tutorial area. It's gonna be very linear. But uh, the game is ultimately kinda open world. Okay, cool. It is the first uh it is credited with being the first platforming game to have uh, seamless seamless transitions. It's one big world map. Okay, cool. So it's the Metroidvania. Kinda. Yeah. It still has that platforming thing going on. I mean, areas are pretty varied, pretty different. Cool. I uh, I recently completed a Metroidvania recently, so oh hey, I got Blue Eco. So this is our this is our mechanic for this game is magic. It's a game all about magic. Yeah. Okay, I get access to a. Oh, I got a sure you can. And a hide in a. So that was not a projectile. It's like powered up fist and everything. Right? Oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm asking you because I, I can't hear the dialogue. Uh. How each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. Yeah, I got it. I got it, old man. So it's all about it's all about different colors of magic power-ups. Before you know, Jack Two, they start using guns instead. Yeah. It's magic, stupid. <laughs> But you know what would be cool? Magic guns. Yeah. Magitech guns. It's kind of a weird change in style where this is almost like, uh, like an elf world. And then you, you go to, uh, to fucking, uh, Final Fantasy VII Midgar. It turns into Shadowrun. Wait, hold on. Wait. Oh, no, that doesn't work. It's just a fucking... Jump and spin? I tried that. Oh, wait. This is a precursor door. Yeah. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. All right. All right. Sounds good. Let's do that. Is it over here? That's Wait. a blue eco vent. Oh god. It's More an eco fountain. Than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. As opposed to do Yeah! I like how... He's really adjusted to his new body quite well. He's able to, like, Good fucking work. break dance and shit. The blue eco caused the door to open. Yeah. With blue eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have laid dormant for years. So blue eco is basically electric energy, green eco is life energy, dark eco is... death energy? It's evil, because it's dark. Uh oh, it was split. It's weird because Hollow Knight, it, it was the complete opposite. Whereas Dark was uh, was portrayed as good and light, and the light was portrayed as evil. But then again, everybody was bugs, and bugs like dark places. So I think they subvert that in Jack Three. Oh, cool. In so far as like I, I know, in Jack Two, we start getting uh, you know Dark Jack because he's pumped full of dark eco. Yeah, and he's able to do crazy shit. And I think the bad guy, one of the bad guys in three is like all souped up on light eco energy or something. Oh uh, yeah. You get to fight. Those little green balls of energy on the ground. Dr. Manhattan. Type of eco. 
<laughs> we fight Doctor Manhattan in the fisticuffs. Ecos or one big green one to increase your health. I want to say the red eco is the projectiles, but I don't remember yet. Let it's me been guess. A while since I played this one. Let me guess. That's fire. Probably. And we're not going to. Uh, we we should aim to do the more or less the minimum to try to get through this game. Because yeah. even that, it's going to be fairly substantial. We'll see all the levels, do all the things. So, but is, this game is infamously not worth 100%ing. Okay, cool. <laughs> it seems like they're giving you the bare minimum, uh, like, immediately. We're, we're already up three uh, star equivalents. How many, uh, how many uh, precursor flying orb things are there total? I don't remember. What are they called? Artifacts? Yeah. And Daxter. Uh oh! I, I fell. And we're back to where we started. I guess we're done with the tutorial. Oh, is this the start of the level again? Yeah. Well, they didn't tell you to. Did they tell you to go back? What? Oh, there's a there's a there's a, a fourth one. Well then. Did you fall too early? No, I was. They showed me the platform. Oh well. Oh. Oh god. The movement seems abusable. So, uh, so, so my, uh, my personal, uh, Jack and Daxter lore is, um, there was a guy who, uh, I think it was called Bonesaw or something, who was at a, who was at an a, a GDQ, and, uh, and he was speedrunning this game, and, uh, he was just, he was having a bad time with it, he just constantly kept fucking up, it was... But it was an entertaining run because of hit, the commentary between the two of them, but unfortunately the, the people who were running the GDQ didn't think so, and they ended up uh, they ended up banning him for a year. Oh, there we go. That was easy. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's all. There are 101 power cells in the game. Oh, how many? 101. That's like 19 less than than like fucking stars in Mario. Mario 64, yeah. You think that that wouldn't? I, it sounds like we we need 72 of them to finish the game. Okay, so some of them so some of them are optional, and if it seems like a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna go for it then. Uh, we don't need. That. Uh, I will try to collect the eggs if I can't see them though, because it seems like they'd be useful. Oh, cool! I got them all. Wait, where the where the fuck am I? I have no idea where the fuck I am. Zellrug, are you there? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to fiddle with, uh, I'm trying to fiddle with Twitch so I can see the chat. Okay, so, so quick movement appears to be, uh, appears to be, uh... Where the fuck did I come from? I know Charles is a big fan of this game in particular. I think he mentioned this was his favorite Jack game. He didn't... Wasn't as fond of the direction the later ones went. I bet I bet people who liked this first game would have been kind of like, what the fuck? But uh, this one was criticized for not bringing... Uh, is your chat box up in the right position or is it oh, below? I didn't... I, I think it... Oh, wait, hold on. You changed the position for uh, the Junji Ito. Good training, boys. No, it's it's up. They're up. Oh wait, hold on. It's not hanging below. There it is. Whoops. There. It's up properly now. We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh. Big Green. It's Piccolo. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, Samos is actually a Mechian confirmed. My Don Green eco collectors. But he has a daughter. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? 
Follow okay. the lamps. They'll take you right there. You know, the slowdown really adds you atmosphere. Know, all of you. To, like, the cadence just... Damn. Yeah. Out of here! You know, for an old guy like that, you'd think he'd have more patience. Oh, hey, Audrey, too. Audrey, too? Yeah, it's a little Shop of Horrors reference. Ah, oh, right, yeah. So that's, uh, it's the crash plant. Yep. It's the only, I, as far as I can recall, the only explicit crash thing they did sneak into the game. And it's just generic enough to be, like, fitting in there. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, that's... Okay, it's okay. It's okay, I can work around it. Don't, don't look directly at the village. Avert your gaze. Sand minus one. Oh no! It can't load all the plants? Are those plants? Are those supposed to no. be there? As opposed to... It's fine. No, it's just every now and again it blooms with many colorful flowers and then they vanish. You want some... You want some shit? No. Don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys? See them? See how they're not moving? Yeah. That means our village has no power. The we're, we're in the middle of a blackout. The jungle temple has been interrupted. Boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what happened. Oh, I guess. Did you pay the bill? Yeah, hmm? oh, 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 you're funny. <laughs> now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing, if by any chance... I think this is Hat Kid's father. <laughs> ...to my re-election campaign, you're, I, I wait. think he will need to part with yet another... You're the mayor? This is the mayor. Contribution is a, oh, Can't you tell by the regal I, mustache? I thought he was just like a shopkeeper. Okay, There's so not a subtitles option, is there? No, I checked last I think time. We last time, yeah. Yeah, it's just we gotta we gotta strain to hear. Cause cause Plus these the guys slow down. That's just it's Jack's PC. It's it it's a lot of things. Yeah, see there's uh there's just no option. Oh well. Fuck the deaf people. Just, just I looked into it a little online. Someone suggested that uh, in order to emulate, like, really well, the PC needs to be ten times as powerful as the original hardware. <laughs> <laughs> because the original hardware was specifically designed to run the thing. Well, there you go. Can you, like, stomp on that? Jump through square? Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Pretty far back if that, if, uh... Oh, whoops. have quality settings today. We do not. Oh, well. Hey! It looks like scout flies are always in red boxes! See, this is the most populated part of the game, so maybe once we get out of here it'll be better? No, you see, Jack is suffering from Radical 6. Oh, Radical that, 6? It's a, it's a, it, or no, you know what? It's like that, uh, it's that poison that, uh, that Kurosuchi well, developed. Hello there, my dear Except boy. this is a genetic condition. It's the hunter from I Jumanji. Yeah. Miserable cowards! Come back and I fight like a man. I word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, <sighs> miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. I don't anyway, know, I think he looks cute. Would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? Oh, I that's uncle. Power <laughs> See, we got uncle. Oh man, imagine if uncle from Jackie Chan sounded like that. Yeah. It's jolly good. Just an old British dude. Is Jackie Chan's uncle? Yeah. Adopted uncle or something. Step uncle. It pains me that you must experience this masterpiece in such a decrepit manner. <laughs> it adds, to, it adds to it, honestly. 
At least it looks nice. Every frame is a painting. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a shame that- We that... just only get 15 paintings per second. Hey! Little furry dude! <laughs> I thought for a moment you were my muse. It's no, Kato from Baki. Haven't you ever seen a dude Kar before? Karate bro! A little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Her. Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. We're not going the fuck back there. Let's hope she's alright. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island, are we? You tell him, Daxter. I like that to that all the all the quests have like are fully like animated and acted. There's a lot of production value in this game. It is, yeah. What do we got down here? We got some good eco stuff. So Sentinel also beach. Things... Okay, so this is a, a level, kind of. Yeah, Function. it's a level. You just walk over to it, and there you are. You're in the level. Yep. Which was revolutionary at the time. That's why Jack doesn't talk all, at all in the first game. It's just, it's, he's trying to still get used to the sensory overload. Jack, why do you keep hugging the walls and staring at him as you go on? You don't understand, Dexter. <laughs> he thinks. No one understands how I feel. <laughs> I've become so numb. He wishes he was numb. Whenever he gets hit, the pain lasts like five times as long as other people. Wait, somebody's fucking throwing bombs at me? Are you uh... serious? Pirates out there? There's a there's a that is straight out of Wind Waker, that structure. Just want to kick their asses. These all metal boxes are thicker than a Yakal skull. But there must be something that can bust the them open. World, unlike the sequence right. or linear plot. Treasure. Yeah. As opposed to this game's not like kind of lack of a plot. You're just kinda of going from point A to point B. We well, I mean, there's a vague plot about uh, about a, a vague evil organization more, just uh, they're gonna attack. We gotta go go to point B and stop them. Yeah. At some point. We don't necessarily need to. Our current plot is to try to get our friend Daxter back to his uh his old elfy self. The lurkers are invading. Oh, that's right, they're called lurkers in this game. The bad guys in the later ones are metal. Oh. Let's go kick some big bird butt! Okay, give me a second. I'm still... <laughs> Speaking of sensory overload, this game's throwing a lot of stuff at me really quick. It does do a good job of having, uh, like, an interesting presentation while not sacrificing gameplay, though. Yeah, it... It's just that there's just a lot of shit that's going on. Like, I have to... T there's three shopkeeper quests, and I don't think they'll even remind me... Oh, I guess they did. We have to unlock the oh, eco yeah. harvesters for the mayor. Get the power cell from the pelican. Wait, hold on. Bring ninety orbs to the mayor and to my uncle. And oh, but but what about? I gotta find the squirrel from Misty Village. Oh, I guess it's set in Misty Village. All right. Yeah, so it does keep track of uh, of my mission objectives. So Samos's request to unplug the vents is over at the end of this beach. Also, you probably figured this, but like Spyro's gems, there are a finite number of the orbs here. Yeah, I, I prefer that. I don't like grinding. Which, I think there's like uh, 1,200 of those in the game. 1,200? And you need every one for 100%. Okay, fuck that. We'll only scrounge up as much as we need. Similar to Spyro in that way. Wait, am I... Hold on. Am I using... Okay, no, he's just punching. 
It does look like he's thwack whacking people with Daxter, yes. Oh yeah, that's a, that's an ability you can you can uh, unlock in Banjo uh, Tui is uh, the Bird ability. To, yeah, Banjo just grabs Kazooie by the neck and swings her. She doesn't seem to mind though. Also, if you long leap and jump as you land, if you hold the crouch button, you can high jump out of it. I don't think Jack's figured out a long leap yet. You're way ahead. This is Charles. the long leap, I thought. Oh yeah, there's a long leap. Yeah, it's. Uh, You're going the opposite direction. You need to go. I know. I'm trying to. I saw this thing over here. I wanted to grab it. Got to go back for the one orb. Well, I mean, it's better if I see him. It's better to just grab him now. Than to like, than to like. Where's that one orb? I mean, I'm not 100%ing it, but I'm, but I want to get some. That's how they hook you, Jack. You're, you're buying into it. I gotta get every orb, man. I'm not getting every orb. I'm just, if it's if I see it and it's like right in front of me, I'm just gonna grab it. I'm not gonna I, just skip over some. I do think the green or the green eco vents are necessary to progress. Okay, well. I'm sure there are some mission objectives that are like time to unlock, so I'm I am gonna grab them. Uh, I don't think you unlock anything in this game. You don't get any extra moves. Oh really? What we have is what we have. Yep. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that, but spinning helps you keep air. Oh, like crap. Oh, okay. So that's my triple jump. All right, that makes that I mean, that makes sense. It's not much of a double jump, but it is at least better than the crash double jump, which is just zero momentum. Yeah, you might you might as well just be just be flapping your arms. I say as as Jack literally does that. Jack and Jack and Jackster. That was what I was titling the, the first stream. The first oh, yeah. attempt at this was Jack and Jack and Daxter. Yeah. Did you see that four kids thing? Yeah, they're all singing the the national anthem. I don't know how I feel about that. It was weird. If I if I believed in cursed videos, I would have said that was a cursed video. Oh, hold on. Like on one hand, they're trying to play it straight, but on the other hand, it's four kids actors, so they can't really fully do that. I can instantly break. Okay, so. Oh yeah. Also, are those dogs? Uh, they're lurkers. Fire lurks? Oh, shit. There's no uh, real easy way to heal in this game. No, you, you really just gotta not get hit. Also, this game's got a day-night cycle. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. Can you roll jump across that gap? Oh, wait, hold on. How did I miss that? Oh, this one's just hanging out here. Yeah. Try crouch jumping. Because you got like a high crouch yeah. jump like Crash does. Yep. Yeah, it's literally the crash jump. He just pounces like he like he's like he's on a pogo stick. Crouch punch equals uppercut. There are a lot of a lot of movement options in this game, a lot of control options. Which is good for a platformer. Oh, I'm watching a Hat and Time playthrough for the first time and it looks uh as versatile as Mario Odyssey, if not more so. Oh, I wanna, I wanna play it. You get to play uh, Mario Odyssey. I'll buy Hat in Time and I'll stream that. Yeah. That'll be, that'll be my recompense, and I think hopefully that'll run better than 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 PlayStation Two emulator. If we were just straight up just recording it. It probably would have would be would run better, but but we're streamers. We yeah. live that streamer life. Soon in the future, everybody's going to be streaming every moment of their day. With the Apple iPhone. There's a phone in your eye. Oh, we need to get here with Blue Eco to open that vent. Oh, well... You, you can't whack the egg. I, you want me to try? Uh, yes. What, what's okay. going to happen? The egg is gonna either break or it's, nothing's gonna happen. There are no permanent missiles What's in this game. It's not that kind of game. Yeah, it's not off. Now beat me down here by the egg. What? Wait, who uh, are you? Hello. 
Who are you? Should we have talked to you? Oh my! I hope the poor dears are No right. permanently missable content except for cutscenes. <laughs> I deadass did not see her. No, no! No, no, no! no. <laughs> well, did Jack Decker like. Isn't that cute? It's the curate's mama. Ah, I'm not your mom! You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. She sounds familiar. Oh. Listen, boys. I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. Oh! <laughs> Slow motion dancing! <laughs> 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 What? It's because we're the view has all this other shit in the background. Yeah. It's the more scenic it is, the more slowdown there is. Yeah. Man. I want to swap. Two what is he? Like, how would uh, this put this guy as Clank and put David Case as Shomaru as Daxter? Oh man. I I can't imagine wacky Shomaru. It's still bizarre to me that that's the same voice actor. It, it is, yeah. Well, it was for a time. They switched it in, uh... Yeah, final act is no longer Dave K. Yeah. Oh, that was easy. You just gotta punch him. Yeah, I... Who put these rocks here? Is Jack secretly, like, some kind of super soldier? He's got access to time dilation abilities? He's He can punch rocks? It's just they're, like, low-key Mobian, just living in an area surrounded by Eco all the time, man. Darn. Yeah, you're you're so cool, well, Daxter. I see that you two have finally decided to unblock my collectors. Oh, so now now we have free life refills. My congratulations, but you have so oh, okay. much to do. I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> this guy's a dick. Kind of a dick. I, I'm getting, I'm getting serious. Uh, oh man, I, I'm trying to think. There was this one dude in this one uh, Postal Two uh, expansion called Corkscrew Rules. It's Russian only expansion, and uh, and I've told you about this. The guy, the plot of the game was that the main character has dick stolen by a bunch of uh, like like uh, psych ward dudes, and he, oh, okay. uh, and he tracked it down. To this one guy, he has he's very unsympathetic to his plight. So then he suggests, hey, hey, why don't you put a leech down there? It'll suck the blood up. And, <laughs> I'm getting real. I'm getting that kind of energy from this elder. Just not giving a fuck. Yeah, he's not Uncle Crotchety, but he's pretty crotchety. He is the crotchiest old man. And he's he's the one who's supposed to. He's the ancient wise green eco sage. He's got the most zest for life, Jack. He's the life eco. You think you'd be chiller? Like you'd be for an old guy like that. He certainly doesn't have a lot of patience. I, I wish I could say that he was nicer in the later games. You wish you could say that. Yeah. Wait, what? Why? Wait, is there? Why what? He's telling us to punch the poles. Or not? What the fuck was he- What are you saying, Daxter? This is why I wish this game had subtitles. I don't think he meant these. Unless- Oh, uppercut. Crouch and punch. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Well, I've done all I can. Castle moat and get the metal cap. Do you need to do it more than once? So, is there a is there a section where crawling is necessary? Because I feel like it, it's it'll be needed at some point. I don't remember. Yep. You don't even know what a robot is, Daxter. He's ahead of his time, Jack. What's a robot? Just a fairy tale. They don't exist. Yeah. Maybe. 
Maybe. I mean, for all we know, maybe those are precursor artifacts. Maybe we're gonna run into the robots from Castle in the Sky. Oh yeah. Gonna gonna flop, try to fly away as if he's just suffering from a hangover. Which is my interpretation of those robots in Castle in the Sky. Yeah. Apparently, uh, a lot of Avatar and Korra, especially the spirit designs, were heavily influenced by uh, Miyazaki. Oh. They mentioned the art books. As opposed to being, uh... What it, what it, it would have been weird if they were influenced by Akira. Yeah. <laughs> that would have... That would had a PS2 game. We should play that someday. It's Japan only. So, that's not gonna... That, that, that won't stop us. Flop through menus, we'll be fine. Oh. I was thinking about, uh... Instead of doing, uh... Like, waiting until we can, you know, get together and do a, a Tenkaichi 2 thing, because that's... It's, an, it's another DBZ game. I don't think there's anything super incredibly new between Tenkaichi 1. Did I need to leave that on? Yeah, I did. Probably I needed, needed to... them. You probably need to hit them multiple times to boost them up. Okay, well... I didn't even know I could do that. There you go. Uh, I was thinking it might be we could do uh, just a one-off of Tenkaichi 2, like the story mode. Because that's the only Tenkaichi that plays similarly to Budokai 3. You get to, like, fly around the world map and such. Is that the one with... What's the one with the weird board game mode? That was Budokai 2. Yeah. Very interesting, but hard to 100% if you want to try to 100% it. It is so tedious. It's the only one I've never done. At a certain point, you gotta look at that, and you're just like, "Eh, I'm, I'm good." I value my time, thank you. My I time. forget what these, uh, Charles. What do these little bugs do? He told us, didn't he? They do, uh, Samos. Spin kick. So we still need to get to the pelican if like we so choose. Pelican. Or we could just move on to the next area, because you know, we don't need 100% every area. The pelican, where is the pelican? Presumably over on those, oh, there he is. He's just in the middle of the island. All right, cool. I keep forgetting there's fall damage. I'm so used to, I'm too used to playing games without fall damage. That's a lot of stun time, too. Yeah. I mean, are we sure that isn't because of, of Jack's, uh, Jack's unfortunate, uh, time dilation disability. Oh, you can dive. I can? I, I assume, because I saw orbs underwater. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that looks like Zelda swimming. That doesn't look great. It... is not... Yeah. I don't think there will be any, uh... Or there might be. There are no underwater levels in this game. I imagine... This is a very, uh... Oh, shoot. Whoops. Oh, come on! Get up there. Keep the vent open. Are we strong enough to beat the pelican? We are. Yeah, I kicked his ass. Oh, god damn it! Are you serious? We have to race it? Yeah. This is so... Where... Okay, where... Where'd it go? Okay. Hopefully that was the right one. Nine. You think that's enough for, uh, to continue? Yeah. Alright. To the next area. This is just one level. There are like uh, four or five per world area. Alright. Well. Is there a way to go over there and take out that fucking uh, mad bomber? Probably. I don't remember. I think if you swim too, too far out, there's a fish that eats you. Yeah. The, I met a shark. Shark. You may want to do the jungle before the pelican. 
Okay, Jay, yeah, Charles is right. There's a good reason to go do the jungle level. Where is the jungle level? Uh, back the way we came. Okay. You mean back the way we came when we first entered the, the level, village. or... Okay, oh, okay, at the village. Got it. So I'm going the right direction. The village is the hub. Alright. There... So it's not like a Metroidvania. Uh, I guess not, no. Okay. You generally don't need to go through a level to get to a level. It is a... Uh, it's a hub world, and then you go to the separate areas surrounding it. When you're in a hub world, you go to hell before you die. Talk to your priest or your rabbi for more information. That, I like how, how he says, like, talk to your rabbi. That was very inclusive. Okay, I don't have the squirrel yet. No, we gotta go out to Misty Island for that. A jungle first. Yeah. But first, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give 90 power cells or orbs. So to... you uh, want to make a contribution? Good, a, a sizable one, I hope. You. <laughs> he looks like a Dr. Seuss character. Oh, I, I just hope yeah. this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. And then we get another one for helping him with his fucking power problems. <laughs> that one was pretty cool. All right, how do I get to the jungle? Where do I... Past the lazy farmer. We want to look for an open area. Like the opposite side of the village from the beach, I think. Okay. Damn it. Okay, avert your eyes, Jack. All right, look at the wall. Hello, who lives here? Oh, it's the bird lady. Oh. Yeah, we didn't ask her for help. We didn't ask her if she wanted help. We just, we just pushed. We just her shoved an egg off the cliff because we're dicks. Oh, hey, you read my mind. How lovely. There's the farmer down on the beach. Hold so on. So we're going the right direction. There's a. Ah, for f the jumping in this game is odd. I, I can tell what happens before I see it happen on screen because of you. Yeah, I figured. How about far behind are you now? This is a couple seconds. Okay. Is there anything up there? It just looks like blue eco. Uh, blue eco and a pad. You're gonna have to do the roll jump to cross some long gaps. I'm so cool. Are you threat? Hello. Hello, Mr. Farmer. Oh, Mr. Kid. Oh, oh how? Just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those unreal cows back into the pen all day. Some okay. strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think Yak you can help an old man and try to get them back into the corral? <laughs> Daxter had nothing to say about that. Nope. <laughs> Straight out of Spyro. Wait, I'm indoors. What the fuck? Where's the corral? There it is. Go, go. This way, you. <laughs> Stay there. All right, you. Oh, I don't need to punch him. Peta has words for you. Peta should uh, do something more productive than worrying about uh, <laughs> fictional animal abuse. Besides, these these cows aren't even real. Punching the cow should end the mission and prevent you from getting the power cell ever. Hey. <coughs> My punch can shatter boulders, but apparently it doesn't even affect the cows. They're tough cows, they're... 
Yak cows. God, they got horns like a cuck. In the back, they kind of look like a World of Warcraft enemy. I guess so. I, 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 you're talking to somebody who's never played World of Warcraft. I say based on the South Park episode I've seen based on World of Warcraft. The first Machinima, the first, like, oh, that was a Machinima, right? Kind of. Yeah. I, I don't remember if they were originally planning to use footage or if they were going to uh, animate it. And then Blizzard said, well, why don't you just use game footage? We'll help you record it. Like Blizzard's like, I mean, owes us a power cell. I Let's think it went something like that. Hold on. My, my, uh, it's kicking in. Oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Go to bed. Why are you sleeping before the stream? Wouldn't it be funny if, if, uh, yeah. Jack 1 had problems, but Jack 2 ran fine. Oh, that would be great. That would be funniest. Doesn't Jack 2 have, like, a, have like flying cars and shit? It has, like, a full populated city you're in most oh, of the time. Oh, God, that's gonna run horribly. We're gonna have to find out. Maybe, maybe it was optimized between <laughs> games. That happens sometimes. Yeah. That, oh, that's Fire Canyon. I don't want to go there. That sounds bad. So I can well, just go anywhere. The thing is, we know. What? I can just go anywhere. Anywhere of the World 1 levels. We need to, like, uh... We need to get the flying machine or whatever that uh, Kira was talking about. Oh, that's... Before we can go on That's to, her name? Kira? Uh, K-E-I-R-A. Kira. 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 My name is Yoshikage Kira. I just want to live a quiet life with my grandpa. Though, if somebody tries to fight me, I definitely won't lose. Now I'll take a potato chip and eat it! It's a different Kira. I know. This is a different Kira. Death Note Kira. I mean, not Death Note, uh, Bleach Kira. Oh, hey, Ka! What's up? It is literally just Ka. <laughs> These animals suck. Jack, this game has no loading screens. The, the game is the loading screen yeah. in our case. <laughs> it's always loading. Wow, Jack, you don't seem to be doing too good, buddy. Your movements are so optimized, and yet you seem like you're you're always looking sick. It's a power up. It's like a it's like bullet time. Yeah. I mean, it could be advantageous. It's like I'm playing the game in cheat mode. If someone sped this up to be like uh, 60 frames a second, it would look really impressive. Yeah. But it would I would be disqualified from speedrunning. <coughs> Snake! God, I gotta collect 50 in order to heal. That sucks. Uh, Easy, Jack. Just don't get hit, Jack. God. <laughs> if we weren't experiencing it like this, we would be experiencing it at 480p. It'd be blurry and gross. Yeah. No, that's fine. I'm not complaining. This is just... This is making a game have, have like, layers of lore. So we just have... If, uh, Jack 2 is like like this or worse. Do I just play it? I don't know, I guess we'll have to figure that out when we come to it. Yeah. If it's around the same, I'm still playing it. Uh, so it's not like it's Oh damn it. I could if only I had an Elgato. Can't you just like high jump up there? I didn't you even think of that. Auto, but then that would be the, you know, the 480p thing. Yeah, and also, you, I don't know how I'd be able to do it without disturbing uh, my parents. Probably would be better off just it, putting that money towards whatever part of your computer is. I don't, short here. I don't even know. My CPU? I would need to I would need to just tear apart the motherboard and install a completely new, new motherboard. It would be a CPU. 
graphics card. I don't know what you got when you were building yours. It was fairly high end for the time. It's weird that this is this this that it, this computer could theoretically run Crisis and yet and yet th and yet a PS2 emulator is giving me the most trouble. Technology's interesting. See, look, it's impressive. I'm able to. Just... It is bizarre the the magical spirit world bushes that keep popping in and out of existence. The... I am here. No, I am here. I just want. You know, we don't ever have a reason why silent protagonists stay silent, but this one we do have a, a perfectly good reason. He's just just constant sensory overload. Yeah. And hey, okay, here we go. I got among the other uh, PS2 games that I uh, I got. Yeah. Was the, the first couple guitar heroes. I don't know why, just because. Do you even have a controller? Like, no, that's why. That's why I was wondering if uh, I was thinking about how much uh, PC okay. controller is. I like how Eco isn't like toxic. Break the mirror, nope. Dangerous. Break the it's mirror. Just, ma just magic. You can take it and power yourself up. No consequence. Okay, Blue Eco just makes you faster. Stronger, just generally better everything. It's Ichigo's Bonkai. Oh god. I missed. You missed? Break the mirror? How am I supposed to break the mirror, Dax? Oh, okay, I get it now. I wasn't supposed to. Sorry, it's my sensory overload, it's getting to me. A little weird kind of uh, almost for minion. Like they have technology. Yeah. Those tower do hickey scattered all over the jungle must redirect. More than uh, more than Hyrule did. Let's go but... with him. Wait, what? Hold on. What am I doing? Ouch. I broke the mirror. I died. I'm like uh, Yuck. But how could you die when you're Super Saiyan 2? Oh, so Daxter taunts us every time we die? That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn it. I should be doing better! I, I've got, like... I've got low, more... I got less frames that I need to work around. It's no wonder Jack doesn't open his mouth. Everyone talks shit about him every time he tries to. This village just treats him like shit. No wonder he goes dark Jack in two. We started to off stream. We like played the first few Dude. minutes of it. Yeah. I'm gonna kill Praxis or whoever the fuck. Not recently, a long time ago. Yeah, this was. Yeah, quite some time ago. I think during our job core days. So you're at least loosely familiar with at least like the intro of the game. Yeah. So there's like a, a certain number of bugs to collect in every area. I think they're like uh, Jinjis. Gin and then if you collect all of them, you get an orb. Uh. Or a cell. Hey, we can the We've completed the, the triangle. Tower. Now the Tower of the Gods will appear. Tower. So we gotta follow it over there and then... Redirect it again. Hold on. It keeps green echo and chests. Sorry, not echo. Eco. Long jumping is actually an attack. What the? Is there anything that Jack can do that isn't an attack? He's got like 15 attacks. He's a super soldier. I will say I like the movement in this game better than Banjo. This feels like a faster, more polished PS2 version. A banjo movement. They got a fucking run. This is a run around. 
Let's go to the next tower and reconnect the beam. Like a fetch there. quest, it's the best part of any video game. Da -da 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 -da. I wonder if Banjo Kazooie will run better on this. I don't want to play that. The box bugs are Kira's scout flies. Okay. Are they uh, hunting down er uh, power cells? They're hunting down uh, Jotaro. It's, it's, that's it's, her stand? <laughs> but if I were ever to get into a real fight... It's, uh, it's, uh, what was it called? Sheer Heart Attack? Well, that was, that was Kira's. What, what would, a, yeah. what would, like, a bug-based stand be called? We, we had a bug-based stand. Tower of Grey. Is there a man called Lord of Flies? Uh, what? I just, you know, it's a good thing death uh, means jack and shit in this game. Yeah, if you just get made fun of, that's your punishment. He didn't even make fun of me this time. Eh, he's been through enough. I get the feeling Jack isn't telling me something. Hey guys, do you think we're too mean to Jack? I don't know, he hasn't said anything about it. He hasn't opened his mouth in, like, years. He's quiet. Oh, hello. What do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. Oh, hey. Damn monster. You're a in the ocean. Took a bite out of me fishing rig. And now they're gobbling up me catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set. If you can catch 200 pounds of them critters, and then I'll let you with Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. Oh, sure. There are Let's two fish. types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. Okay. If you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. But I can take it. in his eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and you'll poison the whole darn catch. Okay. Here comes a big one. Mini games. Oh shit. So I I, I can only miss twenty pounds. Is that what yes. you said? Okay. Oh god, this is. This is incredibly difficult. This controls. The box seems generous at the very least. 200 pounds! Big request. You think you can do better? This is the one time I wish, uh, Jack's fucking condition, like, like, kicked in. This would be a good time for the slowdown. Yeah. Oh, that was risky as fuck. Shut up! I got you 120 pounds, you picky fucking fuck. School of poisonous eels. This is fucking risky. Okay, I got it. This is Shut up! It's not you. You're, you're not saying a thing. Eight. You did it! Uh, Logitech. You got two hundred pounds of fish. Not bad for a couple of landlubbers. Here's the power set I promised. Oh, you have a PS4 controller, right? Yeah, I do. It's working. It works pretty well too. I'm, I'm, I have no complaints about it. My hand issues that usually pop up, they haven't been popping up as much with this one. So. I don't remember where in the game. I think one of the victory animations is replaced with the Ratchet and Clank one, and vice versa. They put one of the Jack and Daxter animations in a Ratchet and Clank game. <laughs> That's funny. That's a slightly cute. Oh. Okay. He's so happy to have like good fish again. Remember when game, de game devs weren't all like shitting each other, throwing each other under the bus? 
I, they, man, dodge roll uh, and uh, and land beer. They have uh, they have references to each other's games, or at least uh, dodge roll has references to. Because uh, you know uh, you know there's a character in Nuclear Throne called YV. Like imagine yeah. imagine if Bill Cipher was like a white triangle, and he also he also loved cash, and he and he was the god of guns as well. So in Enter the Gungeon, there's like a statue dedicated to him, and you can give it money, and sometimes when you fire a shot, it'll just automatically, for free you charge, put another bullet in the shot. And I thought that was neat. Yeah, indie games and uh, Smash Brothers are like the only times we see crossovers anymore. And like, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom, but even then that's kind of... Wait, what the? So those are the those are the explosives. Oh yeah, it's dark eco. Say good night, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because because he's almost like he's talking to me. Oh, the forest got nicer when we did sign put all the lasers. I guess they're supposed to be flowers, and we're just not seeing them. Kind of pop in and out every once in a while. So if we have all three slots and also 50, we get a fourth hit. It's weird. This this game this game has a very unforgiving like life health system. Oh, we do. Keep in mind, keep in mind, these are the devs that made Crash, where you only have one hit. Yeah. So they're, this is them being generous. Oh, you can't beat our silly little bandicoot game with one hit. Fine, I'll give you four, you baby. I'll use another IUD. Why'd you make the 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 the, the, the uh, crash dev sound like a pirate? What are you talking about? This is their normal speaking voice. They always sound like this. I hate. Why is there fucking? <laughs> Hat in time is nice with that. I've, I've seen from watching it, and that if you like do a long fall from an area later in the level, it will spawn you back up where you were, oh, and okay. not make you climb all the way back up. I'm talking about the fall damage. Yeah. I was more talking about the progress you just lost. Oh well. Ooh, that's a lot of progress you just lost. You know, it always hurts when you, uh... Yes, thanks, right. thanks, Foddy. Or, Bennett Foddy? Yeah, that's the guy. Wasn't sure for a second. Oh, keep going, I'll be right back. Alright, I'll... Oh, that's cool. I unlocked high jump. Alright, so I found out that there's a high jump pad down there. And I want to get back oh, down yeah, there. Oh, for Blue Eco. And I want to get back down there, but... Oh, okay, cool. I think I have found a way into that temple. Factory, whatever the fuck it is. The evil Dr. Neocortex has opened a factory on Jack Island. Wait, what did I just... What? I guess... Getting near them with Blue Eco? Yeah, it's just a Blue Eco activated bridge. We need to get to the top of that tower. I like how how D Dax is like is our mission control because because uh, Dax doesn't talk. Yeah, he just doesn't. 
He's out of it. He's off his mind. He's out of his mind with this. Uh, so now he... that's usually the case with silent characters. You have someone along well, to with uh, silent... provide the dialogue. With silent protagonists, you usually there isn't really a good reason for a protagonist to be silent. Uh, I found. Yeah. So and people don't really make a comment about it. So, like Link being a silent protagonist. There's no reason for him to be a silent protagonist. I guess no, there Nintendo is. Nintendo even confirmed. No, he's not mute. He just chooses not to talk. Which who the fuck does that? Some people do, but that usually is, is associated with tired childhood trauma. Come on! It is presenting. Now, what kind of childhood trauma could young Link have faced? Uh, his mother died. Like, was murdered by... The joke is that Ganondorf is asking that question. Ganondorf's the trauma. And, you know, the entirety of Majora's Mask. He can only say yes or no. Yeah, so we got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! Okay. S s simmer down, Dax. He doesn't like use his arm, his arms across or nothing like Nom. He just headbutts the ground. I think he does. He seems to. Oh yeah. That character design that that Jack has, it's like it's like he should be in like an RPG like game, not like a fucking platformer, like, uh, Tales of or something. Se the Secret of Eco. Secret of Eco. Alternate universe. Uh, alternate universe video games. Jack and Daxter is actually Secret of Eco, and it's a popular RPG by Naughty Dog after their uh, their somewhat popular uh, crash adventure game. Wait. Please tell me. Okay. I didn't lose that much progress. It's also the same universe in which uh, Hotline Miami. Was like a first-person shooter, and Doom was like, was a was a platformer. Yeah. Doom being a platformer—that's the weirdest timeline because that would mean that Civi Eleven would have gotten he more heavily into Nintendo, unless Nintendo, unless no, all the games that came after Doom were called Doom likes until they invented the term platformer. Yeah. Mario's a strategy game. <laughs> that would... And, and until they made a platformer game with a crossover with the Rapids. Wow, did you see that? Blue eco-vents have been activated all over the world. I knew there was a way to turn them on. There must be places to turn on the other They're eco free blue eco. Well. Cool. So we don't we, we gain it. So it's basically opening up the caps. Uh yes, we there are now blue eco vents open all over the island. That's good. That explains. That's why we wanted to come here sooner rather than later. Yeah. Oh sh. <gasps> Whoop. Rip. <laughs> okay, not much. We didn't lose any progress. <laughs> Pong was a racer. Wait, wait. It wouldn't be called Pong, it would be called something else. What was Asteroids? It was a shooter. You don't wait, you don't know what a oh okay, you're asking me. Asteroids would have been the racer. Pong would have been Pong. Pong is eternal. The one There is no alternate universe where Pong was not Pong. Pong is not I mean maybe it had different variants, maybe Pong instead of it being like horizontal. It was vertical. Oh, we have our first boss. Oh, okay. I see now. I see how it is. I get it. You know, it's very kind of the boss to let me go up there to kick its... Yeah, it presents its chin for you. Okay. You've earned it. Oh my god. 
Sorry, I'm so to wait, Vegeta. It's their turn. Better are you than me. Thanks. Thanks, Jack. You are a true friend. What would I do without you? Is it like two years before Daxter successfully breaks him out of prison? What the hell is Daxter doing that whole time? Repeated failed attempts? <laughs> Knowing Daxter? Yeah. What little he I just know put, He just put it off for two years. You know, I should, I should really break my buddy out one of these days. I'll do it tomorrow. Wasn't there like a prequel game that Daxter had for like, for, for There like... was a PSP Daxter game. It wasn't a prequel because he wasn't Otzel. I don't know when it takes place. Wait, a prequel game where he wasn't in? That's he weird. was an Otzel. Okay. So therefore it can't be a prequel game to this. No, I mean prequel to Jax 2. Maybe. To Jax, uh, not Jax, Jax 2. I don't know. I, I don't know where Daxter pl takes place in the con- There was also Secret Agent Clank on the PSP. Yeah. Which and is, that I guess, was also come on. ported to the PS2, so... I could potentially try that one of these days. Spin it. The fucking spin's a liability. Yeah. Three hits. Three hits. Of course, it was so big and powerful because it had a sacred jewel shard. Yeah, of course, it was so powerful because it had a power star. The only thing that doesn't make sense in that in that is like jigsaw pieces. Yeah. Or jiggies. Why are you going back? I, was I not supposed the to? The platform. It spawned right next to the flower, the big glow, glowing blue thing. That's a. Oh, okay. I remember now. Okay, I get it. And it's nighttime. Well, I guess we're done with the jungle. Going home. How, how many did you say there were? Like 109? 101. And we only need, what, 70-something? 70 72. How many do we have now? Like 12, right? Oh, okay. 10? 15, actually. I think you're going the wrong way. I think we need a 20. I was gonna say, even, even with, uh, even with the, even with the game slowing down randomly, this shouldn't take that long. No. It's gonna Which, be a short game. If it is going to be performing like this, it's probably better a short stream than a long one. Yeah. If Kingdom Hearts was doing this, we'd be dead on arrival. No, the only thing we had to worry about Kingdom Hearts was the audio being horribly delayed. <laughs> Alright, we gotta free the seven Jinzo. Jinjo, sorry. Jinzo is something else. I mean, you have to, though. I guess we don't. So. We're still here. Are we going? Are we leaving the jungle, or? I would say so. Move on to another level. Okay, then I was going the right way to, to leave the jungle. Oh, okay. Oh, go for it then. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe you're right. See, I'm leaving the jungle. Hey, Jack, can I? Uh... I'm leaving the jungle. Bye, Daxter. Yep, we're, we're back at the beginning. There is no reason for me not to death warp, since there is no punishment oh, for dying. Might as well. Is that it? Okay. Wait, how do I get back up? Follow the beach. Wait, I thought. Oh, okay. Dun 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 dun. dun. How many orbs did we need for Kira? It was eight. It was oh. a low an amount. It was like eight or seven or some. Well, then, do you want to go to Fire Mountain or do you just want to go talk to her? Let's go to Fire Mountain. What's how bad could Fire Mountain be? What what's the worst? I think the only other level is uh, Misty Island, which do we want to go there again? We were only there for like for like a few seconds. 
Yeah. We have all the abilities unlocked, you said, right? So... It's not like anything is like really locked to us unless we don't have the pads. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Fire Mountain. Just walk to Fire Mountain. Daxter found Fire Mountain! Fire Mountain, Charlie! <laughs> I don't oh. like the song. Oh, this is the way to the next area. Oh, is Never it? Never mind, we don't want to do this yet. If you want to go to Misty Island, you should go there first, and then talk to Kira, and then we'll come here. Okay. It's not Fire Mountain, it's Fire Canyon. Jack and his uh, excellent roof sliding ability. He's gonna. Jack's gonna be. It's gonna feel like ag, like ages to cross the town, and then Daxter can only say, "Oh, that was quick." Oh, there's a there's a crate. Man, it must suck to have like uh, arthritis at 15. <laughs> Gotta do everything slow. <laughs> Mental arthritis. It's just funny that that for Jack, sometimes his sense of time just slows dramatically, and for Daxter, everything feels like normal, so... <laughs> it looks to him like Jack is moving in with, like, super precision. This goes back to the beach. It's only until Jack 2 where he's gonna... where he's gonna fucking tell him what's going on, and Dax is like, uh, Are you shitting me? That's so cool! And, uh, and Jack's like, No. No, it isn't. The boat to Misty Island is on the back side of one of the houses. One of the huts. The back side. Backside, the yeah, thick yeah. side, the poop deck. Right, uh, not there. Not there. All right, I guess we'll continue. There is no way to swim quicker. You just gotta. If you if you ha happen to haplessly fall in the water, you just gotta you just gotta fucking wade your way through it. There it is. We're going to miss the island again. Wait, hold on. I just remembered. I got. I got to give all the. I got to give the orbs to Uncle. You still there? Yeah. Okay. I don't trust Discord anymore. Making fish jerky. They got fish out to dry. Oh, I've had fish jerky before. They sell it at that uh, local grocery store. They salmon jerky. It's not bad. Yeah. I like salmon. I like jerky. Next time you're up here, you should buy some. Like whether you're picking me up or whatever. Wait, hold on. Oh, this is the. Okay. I see you two are back. Isn't this the dude? The yeah. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, Sorry, it was dead of night, so the house looks different. We agreed on. Yeah, here we I go. I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, tota, bye-bye. All right, now we go to Misty Island. Jack and Dak, so... So Jack is is low key pretty strong. Seems to be. He's like the local wildlife. You can mostly kill him in one hit, and he can double jump an ability which is vaguely uh, vaguely uh, physics breaking. And uh, he leaped pretty far. He can break rocks. <laughs> anyway, it's... He can channel eco like nobody's business. It's the island. We shouldn't be here. It's forbidden. Mm, this place gives me the creeps! <laughs> that was... Trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz! Everything's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz, Dax. Uh, 
Uh, the mayor is voiced by Commissioner Gordon. Wait, wait which one? The, the Batman animated series. Oh, Bob wow. Hastings. Jump, then dive onto the teeter totter. <clears throat> hey, Batman, you want to contribute to my re-election fund? Back to the head. Oh, okay, I get it now. I have to do this. And wait, that wasn't that, that high. What's up? And the uncle, the British dude, is voiced by Batman. Wait, really? You're not, you're not, you're not messing with me, are you? Nope, Kevin Conroy, animated voice of Batman for a stint. Oh, I found the muse. It's not a squirrel. It's a. Uh, it's that thing from. It's the that animal from. Uh, from. Uh, what was that one? Uh, what was the, the Miyazaki movie with Patrick Stewart? Nausicaa. Yeah, it's that Nausicaa animal, except gold. It's shiny Nausicaa thing. It does look like it. Ow. <laughs> I hope that catching that thing doesn't require some some form of black magic. Get the fuck back here! Get back here! <gasps> Damn it! I almost had him! You need blue eco. Oh, please don't tell me I really do need Blue Eco. Don't fall into the mist below us. Right, maybe you don't need it, but it would help. We'll make it back. Oh, damn it. Get... I'm reminded of that one jackass uh, sketch where uh, that one fat dude is chasing Wee Man. And they're both wearing tiny whiteies. That bastard here. rat's making fun of you! <laughs> <laughs> that just seems like that just. Go with seems... those bones. Oh, what? can you whack that over? Like make a bridge? Oh. That big bone. I should have. I should have tried that. Give me a sec. It's fine. That guy's not going anywhere. He believes in honorably waiting for. He has to be some kind of super soldier, genetically engineered super soldier or something. Yeah, he's the chosen one. Chosen by science. It's not science, it's eco. So he's in, in enhanced by eco, and that's and that's why sometimes his brain just processes things at a very high rate. Maybe Eco affects everyone else negatively. Maybe he's the only one who can, like, stand an event and be fine. Is that why- is that why the Elder is such an asshole? He's just in constant pain from Eco use? It takes a- it takes a lo large toll on the body to be the green Eco Sage. Despite it being the healing Eco. Right, I'm gonna go the opposite way. This might be easier. I'm getting, I'm getting fucking spiral flash back. I have to punch it, don't I? I don't know, maybe. Peter would have words about this task as well. Got him. <laughs> Thank you, Daxter. I was, that's what I was feeling right now. All right, we got the muse. We'll, we'll bring him back soon. Um, we should, we should invest. I think. Hey Charles, is there another boss on this level, or is it just like an enemy gauntlet? I feel like I remember like a gauntlet at least. There's like an arena where you fight a bunch of lurkers. Oh yeah. Cool. Jack could probably kick all their asses. Also, I was worried that the that the mud would be instantly lethal. I'm glad I'm wrong. Yeah. Oh, one shot the bone if we have blue eco. What bone? The big bone bridge that there was another instance of. Oh, there's red eco. Ooh. 
Where? where? There. Across the way. Oh, that's the. That's, you said that's the the e shooting eco. Maybe. I don't remember. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm gonna. So. So was Daxter just not like like partaking partic in, in the eco, and that's why he was relatively normal until he turned into an otter? I, I guess. Ah, shit. Maybe he has his own, like, uh... Maybe he has his own affinity to eco. That's why he turned into an ot otter instead of fucking dying. <laughs> He's the actual chosen one. We're just, uh... We're just the... the... Meat bag. Meat bag? What the fuck am I talking about? The mount. The mount. We're, imagine playing a Legend of Zelda game, except you're the horse. You just you just carry the hero around as he does all the dungeons. Oh man, that actually sounds like like unexplored uh, territory for a game. You just play as the hero's horse. What would that be called? The mount. Uh, spirit stallion of of Hylia. Or just just like a generic, uh, you play as the hero's horse game. Not generic, but you know what I mean. Sounds like a Skyrim mod. Horse. Samos has been training Jack his whole life. Okay, is that that why he's such a, a dick? He's like a drill sergeant. I, I still like the the. the I, just... <laughs> I put this eco into his brain. It'll allow. It'll, It'll allow, allow him to think faster. Help me! Ah. Remembering the, uh, the episode of Cyborg 009, the super speed one. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I grabbed it. Uh, he can yell. He just can't talk. Also, is he actually dying, or or is time just rewinding? Is this a is this a uh, is this a uh, Katana Zero situation where he, he dies? He's like, no, that won't work. Maybe he can talk, but if he did, it would sound really, really fast to us. That's why he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, he's learning to master it. The master talk. He has to learn how to master to talk slowly, so it so it uh, seems all right to uh, to everyone else. He has to talk like Slowpoke in order for it to sound normal for other people. I'm doing pretty good. Did Jack talk fast to you? Fuck. And then he gets mad and doesn't think and he sounds like, Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> when he gets really pissed, he talks like a mile a minute. That's how you know. Sounds like a, like a, like auctioneer. <laughs> Jack, the best auctioneer. The thing is, is that he would be naturally really bad at it. Open Callaway. Watch your back. We Fuck the red eco, we don't care about it. Uh, we'll I'll find out it. eventually. Yeah. Oh hey, we found the arena. It's an ambush! It's an ambush! Oh, and the bomb guy's back. Oh, wait, what does that do? Oh hey, those guys drop red eco. Oh, so it's Zerk mode. Punch good. Because Jack needed to be even stronger. So the farmer's deal was he like abusing Blue Ego to like to like be a better farmer, and that and then he just became lazy. I, why, why do you think that? Because he's lazy. He's a yeah. lazy farmer. So wait, it makes our attack stronger, but we're we seem to be pretty strong. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Well, you're down there. Um, I guess it'll probably let you one shot the skull guys. And we're already one-shotting most of everything else anyway. Yeah, it's just the fact that we're a glass cannon is what's fucking with me. That also says ouch. I want to be voiced by the same, uh, same voice as Knuckles from Sonic Heroes. Oh no! Yeah, you can one-shot, I guess, everything. When you I one-shot most lesser enemies.
This is why Jack didn't need guns. He didn't need guns. He didn't adopt, he didn't uh, choose the gun life, gun life chosen. Oh my god! I keep mistiming my attacks. Say goodnight, Jack! Good night, Jack! Is Daxter really a villain? He, he the way he just like taunts him at the very end. Maybe Jack uh, Daxter's the one with the time reset stand. That's his that's his ego ability. That's why he doesn't take Jack uh, with Jack dying particularly seriously. He's just like that's fine. He just gets a one liner in before he does the reset. But he still keeps all the stuff he grabbed. Hey, we need to grab those orbs! Ah, it's okay! We got them uh, some other time. Really, I don't remember that. Oh, that wait, that's right. Are those, full of, are those crates full of eco? Can you restore health? Uh... Unfortunately, I need, a, I need the... Or the bomb dude. Over there. That's bizarre. Don't I thought Red Eco would break them. Jack. Don't step into the light! <laughs> God! <laughs> Damn it, Dax! Why you gotta be so cruel? Alright. I'm going to make every- I'm gonna be more careful. Cause I'm playing kind of berserk mode right now. Shit. Damn it! It really sucks when, when like, touch dan- contact damage is a thing. I like games where contact damage isn't necessarily, and then it allows me to, to not have to just play like a fucking... Oh hey, instant heal. Is there any, uh, there's not like splash damage in here, jump fist, is there? Dive attack? Oh, I should, I should have been using that, you're right. So what happens if I jump in there? Do I instantly die? You turn into an Otzel for the rest of the game. No, that's yes, Daxter, because Daxter... What happens if Daxter falls in again? So Daxter wasn't wasn't exposed to Eco. He wasn't attuned to any Eco. Then he became attuned to Dark Eco and not a lot of time reset powers. Meanwhile, all Jax has is strength and also his he has time dilation abilities, except he can't control when it happens. Got it. Well, if, if he's been trained by Samos his entire life, I would assume he's trained in green eco. If that means anything. So what's happening is that is that he's so attuned with life. It's oh man. It just speeds up his perception of time is all. Yeah. Doesn't make oh, the, that barrel Donkey Kong place out there looks like it'd be a pain to navigate. I don't even know how to get up there. Doesn't seem like I can right now. Yeah, I guess we've reached the dead end. How were we able to get here before? Well, we came through one of the entrances, one of those circular... Oh. I guess we just jump off. Maybe. Well, try the circular things. If neither of those open, then there must be another way to go. <coughs> nope, that didn't work. That doesn't work. Oh, you meant the, the ones down there, okay. Yeah, the entrances to the arena. So this is where we came in. Yeah. Uh, let me see. We Where's got... the other circle? Can we go out the other circle? Oh, you mean the- oh, the other one? Okay. I... Yeah, there are two in the arena. Hold on. Uh... We got a pretty nice version of the kind of or horizontal version, but kind of uh, rivals Mario's. Yeah. Mario will always be King Jumper though. Hey. Shoot. You may be able to go far back. You may be able to go jump far, Jack. But can you do it backwards up a staircase? Unfortunately I don't have that that ability for a King Tower. A magical staircase that's not supposed to end. Oh man. 
No, they're supposed to grab all of the stars. Oh, damn. I'm like, uh, structure? Yuck. I think. What? I don't, I didn't catch that. What did he, what the fuck did he say? I don't know. Heimlich, stature, breakfast. You know, you don't have to fight everything. They're not in the way of where you're going. Well, they're in the way enough. Enough to take a hit. What the? Not precise enough. Clearly. I've been playing. I've been playing Hollow Knight for so long. I gotta get used to this style of game again. As opposed to 2D. Yeah. That's. All right, cool. We happen to find all all of them. That'd be nice. Not that's cool too. We have more than enough to go to the next world. Well, I just I. Okay. Are we? I don't think we can go end? this way. I think. What? Oh no, there's more down there. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Muffler. Working in mud. Ah! No, 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 no. We're through. There, see? The time, the time dilation was helping me that time. Yeah, it aids in combat. Yeah, too bad I can't really control it that, that well. So we need to get blue eco here to get those. To get the eggs, orbs, though. yeah. Eggs. What? There, there's a lot of Can them. Can I offer you a nice orb in this trying time? Where'd that meme even orig originate from? Always sunny. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a Frank Reynolds scene. Oh. I see. Really? I, I, I thought... I remember the other one where he's like offering something where he's like, I dropped my magnum condom for my monster dong. Ah, oh, shit. I don't think I'm supposed to do it that way, because... Yeah, that one might not be, uh, close enough. Yeah. Also, it's just orbs, so we don't really need to worry about it. God damn it. Fighting this way is just... I gotta run away. I can't heal. Where, where's my Estus flask? Where's my Estus flask? Honey, I said, where is my Estus flask? I guess we have to go this way. There's no quick way back to the boat. It's fine. We'll, uh... Oh, hey, is this an airship? It was a boat. There's another bug here. You 50 green fucking ego. I don't remember how life works or how abundant healing is in the later games. Uh, that's right. I can only spin in the air. I can't punch. That's not how that works. Uh, I'm sure there was a more uh, more interval life meter, just because you know there was a game with guns, so there kind of had to be. Yeah, you get shot instead of. Imagine punching. you only had a four like four hits in a gun game. I. I don't. That sounds that sounds like hard mode Metroid. Uh, Super Metroid. You like Donkey Kong? I hit double jump, game. Straight out of crash. I'll say something really teary at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get Shane back now? 
Time rewind. <laughs> Lost a lot of progress. Hey, it hurts to see that. He didn't seem mocking when he said that, though. Like uh, Bennett Foddy. Yeah. He was just like, he was just like, man, I'm sorry. So there's this uh, one uh, Japanese VTuber called Pikora. Uh, his uh -huh. avatar was like this uh, this girl with like rabbit ears. And uh, her her goal was to play uh, getting over it and beat it in an hour. Right? Did she? Um, she was close. She got further than than you think she would. But uh, but there was a timer taking down from an hour, right? And uh, and then she was like accepting the fact that she wasn't gonna do it, and she's just laughing all depressed. And then and then when the timer hit zero, just this loud fucking like. Thunderclap just hit. Just, just the loud explosion was the alarm, and it scared her and deafened everybody in chat. Yeah. It's a punishment game. Yeah. Apparently, uh, at the very end of it, uh, her punishment. She did have to do a punishment game. It was a horror game. That's fine. I, I, I made it through. Alright, where am I now, bro? These look so shoddily made. Like, they look like they were made by Moblins. <laughs> Apparently, a power core powers the cannon. Okay. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Oh? You two didn't screw up. Now that the lurkers can't open that silo, they can't flood the world with dark eco and cause untold destruction. Wipe that ridiculous grin off your face, Daxter. The two of you have plenty to do. Get on with it. We didn't. You didn't even tell us to do it. We just did it. And you're like, I knew you would do that because I told you to do it. All according to my plan. All according to my Kikaku. <laughs> Kikaku meets. I wonder what that subtitler was thinking when he said all according to Kikaku and then Kikaku means plan at the bottom. Like, what the fuck was he thinking? Well, it's not a perfect translation, so I want to show the proper respect to the jet. Why did you jump down here? Um, because that was the end of the fucking. Yeah, I'm heading back to the boat. We got. I guess this is a way back to the boat, yeah. Yeah, we got all of. Oh, wait. We only had three? I could have sworn we got more than that. Let's just go back to the boat. The boat up there? Okay. I guess, with the boat back, the, the boat we came on. Oh, okay. Which I think the closest route was the way you were just going. There was probably a branch up there that led, like, directly to the boat, because that's usually how this game is designed, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> He's still not as strong as a Mobian, though. No. Like I gotta even... get that gif of, to of Sonic in the, in the tank barrel. And the... Oh yeah, just bending it, like... Don't... Man, you don't fuck with Mobians! Is there progress that's locked by, by Dark Eco? Or by Red Eco? Oh, shit. Okay. Probably. I'm gonna grab that really quick. Need blue eco. Yeah, I know. It's hmm. That's that's a ways away, but there's two of them there. It's a succession, so I think I can do it. I have plenty of time to strategize, considering that that the game really doesn't like this area right now. So. You get the higher one first. No, I gotta. It's gonna take time to jump up there. You can do the crouch. Yeah, jump. it'll take time. <laughs> take take uh, take about a second. All right, here we go. Oh sh! 
<laughs> Made it! Good enough. I'm reminded of that one episode of, like, some show, when every step a guy was taking, he... Okay, good. <laughs> oh, there's the boat. We can see the- we can see the dock there. Isn't that it, on the left? Yeah, I see it. I'm going. We'll have to ride the bone roller coaster. Uh, yep, that was- that was- Mr. Bone. Oh, you can't even stand on it. <laughs> wow, you're way behind. I can refresh, maybe I'll catch up a little bit. I guess we go to Samus's hut and then Fire Canyon. See, you say so I keep hearing Samus like we're we're gonna talk to the fucking to the fucking bounty hunter with the power armor. Wait, you I ship him. Power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the Fire Canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Oh, we didn't have Clear enough. Power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around. Well, maybe they should post more. I get that joke. <laughs> I was worried you did. You wouldn't. <coughs> the sound effects are pretty good, by the way. The the meaty cartoony slaps the whack. All right, let's do it. Great! You have the twenty cells needed to. You ready to play Jack X Combat Racing? The shield will only That's like four games from now, or three games from now. So try to keep it cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit five hundred degrees and it's over. Why is Dax so worried? You can just reset time. The fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Several blue oh, cooling across, balloons. Don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to Jack, are you there? Are you listening to me? Good luck! Uh... Oh, this is gonna be easy! Wait. Okay, I have to hold X. Oh, that wasn't good. Flies out here I don't remember if Kira changes voice actors <laughs> or not. I feel like she does. See if we can catch oh, the spikes pop out of the lava. This is so easy. I think, well, because there are uh, collectibles on this level, the orbs and the flies. Oh. It's harder to 100% to get all the things. That being said, I don't think I'm gonna make it this time around. Use the hot turn to steer harder. The what turn? Rip. <laughs> Baxter, you didn't reset it fast enough. So wait, how do I do a quick turn? I guess I, I... I don't know, I missed it. These cooling balloons don't cool good enough. Yeah. You gotta avoid the open lava. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Oh! 
Okay. So I can geez. jump. What? I can jump with uh, R1. Oh yeah. So she's Anna Garduno Almon in this game and Jack 2. And oh. then from Jack 3 and on, she's Tara Strong. Oh, really? Yeah. There's another... I totally forgot this was a Tara Strong role. Okay, I'm doing slightly better. Hold on. <laughs> I'm perfectly on my end with him boarding the thing. This is... This would have been much more gotta, annoying real time. I gotta, like, uh... For the, for the thumbnail of this, I gotta take a some screen of Jack just standing there and, like, fade it out a couple of times so it looks like the... He's, he's like, running like the six million dollar man. <laughs> now, Kira, Jack may be hurt, but we can improve him. We can make him better, faster, stronger. Well, we can make the eco. We have the eco. You have the technology, right? Oh my god. Uh-oh. Jack, watch the turn. That was totally too easy. Uh-oh. Eco vents cool you down too, right? What's up? The blue eco venoms also cool you down, right? Don't think so, but it doesn't matter, we're here. Hey! Also, there was a power orb conveniently here. Yeah, they just ditch Kira. She's not along for the ride. They figure out their own way. I guess... No, our goal is to go to the next mage and activate his his cell phone. Yeah, so that... that they can teleport teleport here. Yeah, using the, using the 10G towers. Do you smell what the Rock Village is cooking? Oh man. This is a village of assholes, well more so than usual. Oh wow! The game almost ran at a stable frame rate right there. Yeah. Oh hey, here's the blue eco sage hut. Uh Hello? I'll turn on. They forgot to tell us that part. It's fine, I figured it out. <laughs> he looks so pissed to see him again. I never get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean, Rock Village a is being delivery. with flaming boulders! Rock Village is on fire! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. Of course. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. How many do we, we need? Take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers. Then come back and give us an update. And take the fur ball with you. But as if I had a choice. Thanks. How many do I need? To Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. Oh, the cool. The Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of uh, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, <laughs> know what a chicken he can be. Well, if you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. Okay. All right. Falls well. out of focus. She plays a much reduced role in the subsequent games. I wouldn't say that. She plays a very minimal role in this game. It's just that there are only you know four characters. I see. You you do? You see? Oh. 
Why would you put one of your scouting bugs next to the, the hut? So there was a... There was like a swimsuit edition of like some gamer magazine, right? So... What the... Why was that heart beating there? I guess I was in deep water. And... And I remember that one of the, uh... One of the pictures was like... Was like the, like... One person? And then, and then like grown up Kira from like Jack 2 or 3? Or something? Was there like another badass? There was another female character. There's like a, a Daxter love interest. A Daxter love interest? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not weird. He was human once. He, well, or whatever the, the humanoid species this species is. Oh, there's a person over there sitting on the stairs. Hello, who are you? Oh, no. Not another hero. I lost my short on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. Trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That way you pretty much tap me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're gay, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. <laughs> the record time, racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. But that, I'll give you another power cell. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Take that. Oh, yeah. Question. These Why did you sell your pants before your hat? I'm not giving up this fucking hat. Are you kidding me? It's my hat. What's the hero got to say? Oh, my you okay? Man. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the Boulder Bombardment. <laughs> so, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning Goddamn Dex! He sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he It's almost like a, a, a rock impression. I guess. And Full of melodrama. His power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down. Like when he's yelling, it sounds like Mick Foley's boulder. Yeah, uh, <laughs> good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. <sighs> All right, fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let the pontoons loose. Shit. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Well, shit, how many do we have? Oh. Uh. Oh, we have 90. You brought me the precursor orbs. All right. I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. Some some brave dude you are. He gave us a power cell. That wasn't even like in the deal. He didn't even really fix the bridge. He just kind of swam out and floated them into place. They just floated back on it on their own, honestly. He's he's magic. By the way, how is that 30-ton boulder on fire in the rain under a waterfall? That's, uh, that's because it's a thermite boulder. Oh. Or napalm. Just straight-up napalm.
Fuck off, fish. I'm on a boat. You can't oh, get me. I'm on a boat. Rip. That surprised me. I like I like your. Uh, I guess that's why you needed the bridge. Yeah, because because an official get you. They don't like shallow water. I guess that's not shallow enough. I'm gonna die again. Yep. How do I get down safely? There's. Is there like, uh. No. Oh. There's that overlook and then nothing else. I just gotta jump into the water. I guess so. Just as close as you can to those floating platforms. Please! Okay, I guess I'm going that way. The problem is that Jack loses his, all his momentum if you do a double jump. Or just being yeah. in the air, just his momentum just dies. He definitely loses momentum. It's a, still not as bad as Crash 3. That's not saying a lot. Well, I'm here. Let's go to the Lost Precursor City. I am not crazy about how, uh... Like how shitty double jumps got in PS2 platformers. Jack and Ratchet both have not a lot of hype gain from double jumps. As if they, they were like, hey, we want to have a double jump, but we don't want to make it too powerful. Compared to like Smash Brothers or what, what's another what's another game with the good fluid double jumping? Castlevania had some good double jumping mechanics. Yeah. Uh, then there was also, uh... Oh, man. So I was also pretty low double jump. About the same as these two. Yeah, it's a PS2 platformer. We already mentioned that. Yeah. Oh, man, this plate... Oh, wait, they energized the water occasionally? I oh, guess shit. so. <laughs> They just charge it with green eco or whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Got all the orbs. Uh oh! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I, I forgot. It's the lost city of Shatlantis. Shatlantis? Is it Atlantis except William Shatner was king? Don't accidentally step on it again. No, I'm not. I learned my lesson. So we're reaching 50% right now. Yeah, looking good. It's getting really bad. All right. Jack? Jack, you doing okay? You're really rushing through it really quickly. You gotta slow down. It's like, oh god, Jack, it's slowing down. Jack, can you hear me? Slow down. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jack and Turtle just going, no, no. Oh, that's how I was supposed to get the orbs. Oh, it's timed. Well, better wait for it to reset. Hold on. Stare at this wall. Nice wall. I wonder if this is going to be a challenge for speedrunners. 
we, we speedrun Jack and Daxter, but you can only use the PS2 emulator version. No other one will do. Oh, Kira looks weird in Lost Frontier. What looks weird? Kira. Oh, okay. Wait, Lost Frontier? What the fuck is Lost Frontier? Uh, ja basically the fourth Jack game that everyone wants to forget about. Oh. That's the one no one talks about, no one really liked. Oh, what's uh, what's what's up with Lost Frontier? What's wrong with that? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I haven't played it. It's the only one I've not played. And, uh, I think it does try to go back to, like, this, more more in line with this game and the eco stuff compared to Jack 2 and 3. Oh, is that why everybody wants to forget about it? Because it's not edgy I, enough? I, th I think it's probably a little bit of that. Probably a lot to do with it not being a great game. But, again, I don't really know. I haven't played it. So, uh, who did, who did Lost Frontier? Was it Naughty Dog again? Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, no. I tried reversing course and it didn't work. Because it was Naughty Dog again, that's more negative reinforcement for them doing lighthearted stuff. Because they yeah. did it twice and it didn't work out! I don't know how lighthearted it was, necessarily. Could always play it ourselves and find out. We could get through the other ones. Following the release of Jack X Combat Racing in 2005, Naughty Dog began development of The Lost Frontier under the working title Jack PSP. Oh, it was a PSP oh, game? It wasn't intended to be a console game. They made it. In, they made it into a console game, and, and people were like, "What the fuck? Why does this suck so hard?" Uh, originally planned as a PSP exclusive, yeah, and was in the process of being developed by Naughty Dog when it was canceled. Oh, it was canceled. They were unable to sustain the game's development alongside Uncharted: Drake's Fortune, and made the decision to pass the project onto High Impact Games. <laughs> Okay, so it started off as a Naughty Dog project, and then it, and then they pass it, it off. Started off as a Naughty Dog handheld game, and they gave up on it and gave it to another dev, who I guess finished it on handheld and also ported it to PlayStation Two. In 2009, which the PS3 was out by then, I think. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like it was just a bad idea all around. Yeah. Kind of a recipe for failure. I can't wait for uh, for Mac Matt Muscles to talk about it on what happened. Now, Wiki says the game received a generally positive response, with critics praising the game's graphics, gameplay, and aerial. Oh, fights. what really? Critics, critics praise it, but what? So, but what do the fans think? Wait! Felt that the dark Daxter levels felt tacked on. Wait, there's a dark Daxter now? <laughs> Gotta be dark! <laughs> we gotta play this game! <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll, we'll do it after the others. Dark Daxter? It's so untalked about, I thought it was a myth till Zellrog mentioned it. And Charles was the Jack fan. It's <laughs> just a myth! It's not real! It doesn't exist. It's like Paper Mario Sticker Star! Just old stories. This uh, feels like a Zelda critic. dungeon. What the fuck? Metacritic, 72%. Okay, that's not bad. There are far worse games out there. Oh, wait, hold on. I guess it just didn't blow people away like the other Jack games did. It was it was a perfectly acceptable game, but perfectly yeah, acceptable. Yeah. What? Jack X reception. Favorable, favorable reviews, 77% on game rankings. Okay. 76 on Metacritic, so about the same. Well, People for Jack remember. X, the racing game. Okay, I'm not gonna fuck with you. I don't fuck with you? Oh, what the? Oh no! <laughs> the whirlpool! over here. Break that. Thank you. Jack 3 was in the 80s and 90s. 
So, yeah. So Jack 3 was considered really good, Jack X was considered acceptable, and the Jack and Daxter spin-off game was also considered acceptable, and then after that they're like, no, fuck the franchise. Jack X is about, did about as well as you would expect an off-genre game for a platforming franchise to do. I, yeah. I have no idea where I'm going. Daxter is in the 80s, like 85, 86% on Metacritic. <laughs> well, Dax Daxter is rated high, more highly than uh, Jack X. I'm and uh, Lost one. Frontier. Stay alive. Step two. Think about not doing something like that again. In your next life. Why don't we take these fuckers out? You could not. Can you run past them? You can, but that. Reminder that there is no EXP system in this game, and you're not rewarded in any way for fighting enemies. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do! You suck, Dax. The complete opposite between your fighting enemies in, in, like, Jack, between, and my running from enemies in Kingdom Hearts, a game that rewards you for fighting enemies. <laughs> you wanna switch games? <laughs> not, not that I think this game sucks or anything. I, I, that was just a joke. Okay, so these don't, uh, it hurt you. They, they're big, red, and glowing, so I thought that they, that they were, like, harmful. Things like that would hurt you in Crash Bandicoot, so yeah, that's a sound assumption. Wait, what? Hold on. Ah, damn it! Wrong time. Now let's go up here. Oh. Interesting Our platforms. I've seen these. Bef I've seen those before. And uh, I'm Super sorry, Mario I was busy looking at Metacritic reviews. Of course you were. This fucking... How do the later Ratchet games do? Uh... I know people didn't... I know people, although 3 played pretty decently, people didn't like it. For the reasons that we... Discovered. Oh, Where am I? Ah! Oh! This camera angle's weird. So there were only four in the original series, and then after that, it's the future series. It's like a reboot. Time splitters, future perfect. All right, notes. Uh, ninety-one percent for up your arsenal. Yeah, I think. Eighty-one percent for deadlocked. All right. I guess a lot of people weren't fans of the uh, more Halo-esque direction. We already have Halo. What the. Wait, what? What did I just do? Uh-oh. Oh, it's gonna go through the pipes. Quick! Follow that pipe! <laughs> damn it! <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Why you have to have your reactor be water cool? It's effective, I guess. I don't- I jump high, but I don't jump high enough, I guess. What the- <laughs> What was that sound?! Fireworks. Hey, happy 4th, I guess, everyone. Oh, yeah, in the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is our 4th of July stream. Yeah. I could've- we could've- if this didn't work out again, we- I- either you would've done it, or- 
or we would have like done bro force. force. <laughs> That's okay, it hasn't been a particularly patriotic year. A lot of people are feeling. Yeah. A lot of fireworks celebrations got cancelled. Let's let's go to a happy fantasy world instead. Let's go to let's go to fantasy. Well, I mean as, as happy as I guess Jack's life is. You piece of shit failure! You piece of shit! You, you too, Jack! I trained you all my life! You're good at fighting, but not much good for anything else. Size matters. Oh, ew, got 85% on PSP and 62% on PS2. People yeah. didn't like the PS2 port of the Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, because, because when you're doing a mainline console, you expect things to be... People give a lot of uh, leeway for... Uh... Portable. Yeah. Double jump is... I don't know if it's because of... Oh, god damn it. You just don't gain as much height as other games. Made it! Ratchet and Clank Future Pools of Destruction got uh, close to 90%, though. So I guess the people are still liking the games. Rated higher than Deadlocked. I can see why Deadlocked would be divisive, though. Yeah, because it's mostly an arena game, right? Uh, mostly, yeah. There are platforming sections, but they're they're scarce, and there's not really any exploration. Not a lot of cutscenes. You just see the announcers over and over again. Those are the only characters. Ah, oh, damn it! I get a roll and leap to nowhere. So it's gonna be fun when we do get to do uh, co-op for it, though. Yeah. How, again, how's that gonna work? Well, we both get to. Uh, we both get to be in the, in the, in the arena. <laughs> I guess it'll be split screen. That's a good question. Ratchet and other guy. Ratchet and Ratchet bot. Ratchet. There's a Jack skin in the game. Can we get that? Can we do Ratchet and Jack? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. I cannot. It's just out of reach. No, do the platforming. Do the platforming, scrub. I started uh, Pokemon Coliseum just as something to play today on my oh, yeah. own screen, which oh. I've never played before. Oh, you played Stadium though, right? I yeah, I played Pokemon Stadium one and two. Coliseum is the is the one on GameCube that has like the story mode with the, the team snag them. Oh yeah. You can take Pokemon, Shadow Pokemon. Yeah. You want to be Team Rocket? Well, you can, except except it's not as cool as being Team Rocket. Sorry. I haven't gotten to any of that part, so I've just, just, just tried the very beginning. And the main character looks like he's out of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I was like saying, like, he looks so edgy, and his two starter Pokemon are, what is it, an Umbreon and, and an Umbreon. Espeon. So yeah, he's so cool. I get vibes of, uh, well, his, ha his outfit is Kingdom Hearts, but I also get, like, uh, Digimon vibes from the characters. Everyone's wearing glasses and goggles. Oh, that hurts me. What the fuck? Only some glowing things hurt you. Only... Also, his motorcycle is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I've... You've seen the giant engine right at eye level where he would need to be seeing? Yes. That's what the goggles are for. They're a heads-up display to actually see properly. It does seem to be focusing... It does seem to be taking tokens more from, like, uh... Like, JRPGs, like Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's what I noticed playing it. There's this, like, overhead kind of view and you get party members. It's a very strange combination of RPG styles. Yeah. Compared to the later console Pokemons were more just like, you know, 3D versions of Pokemon. Well, I, I made it. Ah, I grabbed them all. I thought I wouldn't be able to make it, but... I was right behind you, Jack! Really, I was. <sighs> Jack, you suck! Try again! This area is so fucking confusing. It is, it is like a Zelda temple. Uh oh. 
Can't have a game without a water temple. Everybody loves water temples. Wait, can't, you can't... Oh, you have to hit the top guy first. Yeah. For some reason, they just... This was the era that they decided that platforming characters needed sidekicks between this and Ratchet. Everybody loves a sidekick? Why? Mario, Mario barely has a sidekick. Well, it's not the first, though. I, I realize Spyro had one. He didn't talk, but he existed. Well, he kind of talked. He hummed. Spy uh, Sparks was not a prominent character to the same degree as uh, Daxter and Clank. Yeah. Had to be snarky and... You know what? I'm gonna say this. I think that uh, that J Jack and Daxter's dynamic is uh, is better than that of fucking uh... game one Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, just being bitter assholes to one another for half the game, and then suddenly everything's totally cool again. <laughs> hey, I got my revenge, bros. <laughs> the worst revenge story. Besides uh, Last of Us Part 2. Oh, damn it. Okay, how many how many fucking eggs do we have? 113. Three. We only got two? This entire fucking time? We could just leave, I guess. Can we go back? We need to raise the chamber. Is there a... Go to options. Can you, like, just go back to the hub world? Uh, I can quit game. So, no. Like, pause circle. Oh, was that... That's the options? Okay, I guess Yeah. Not. I can quit game. Oh, I guess I'm going back to where... Oh, wait, no! I got it. I'm gonna... I, 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 I realize where I'm supposed to go now. This way. Well, I was lucky. Go in here. Don't want to jump in the dark, Eco. For some reason, that will not turn Jack into an obsol. Only Daxter got that. Jack just dies. Oh, you can stomp them. Yeah, I can. I have a feeling I have to kill them. I have to be more successful at killing them. Well, uh, Don't think that does anything. Better you than me. I don't recall anything in this game that's triggered by enemies dying. Except for that arena earlier. Well, that started just when you entered. That wasn't triggered by enemies dying. Come on! Do the stop! Can you not double jump and then do it? Stop! There we go. He's running now. You right. did it! I missed. Okay. I'm gonna wait. And then... Oh. That didn't work. Oh well. Alright, new area. Do you mind me spoiling the series? Yeah, you probably shouldn't, because Jack hasn't played it. I would advise would, uh, not to do that. I do know one big plot twist of the series. And that was and that was on complete accident. Yeah, Jack guessed the big twist pretty much immediately. Yeah, let me. Guess that wasn't that much of a twist. Hey, why is this kid mute? Why is uh oh? He... See, I figure this is where we need to go because there was like a save point here. All right. Im imagine piggybacking is such an effective battle strategy. That—that's why Daxter's doing it. Yeah. He's the one doing all the fighting. Daxter's the real fucking hero. I swear. Gets all the best lines. You don't got a lot of time for that. No, I don't. Oh my god! Alright. 
we don't even get a checkpoint in this room, so we gotta go all the way across again. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do I keep thinking I'm not gonna double jump, that'll just slow me down, and I turns out I have to. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't, I don't fuck with you. Uh, you touched his ass. Instant damage. It, that must oh, be free some healing. Must be some ass. Double jump they, this time. They nerfed Pyramid Head's ass. Are you serious? <laughs> Too early, double jump. <laughs> This room is destroying you. This game has the worst double jump I've, I've ever seen. No, it's perfect. It's flawless. It doesn't control poorly. Any any issues with the controls is all user error. Right, Charles? Mario never really got a double jump. That was the Never one of his abilities. Yeah, and, he, and it, double jump and triple jump is kind of a misnomer because he just lands back on the ground and then jumps again higher, as if the moment, as if he's transferring the momentum he hits from the ground back up into the air, like some like some fucking jumping prodigy. Finally, Sonic didn't get a double jump either. The homing attack. Made it. Yep. I was, I was, it was nerve-wracking. But maybe this switch will do something. No, it'll just trigger it to go back down again. Have fun, asshole. We could just probably do a long jump. How about this? This is quicker. Dying. Death warp. You know what? Dying by drowning. Dying in the water, Daxter doesn't even make fun of me. Because he too is also dead. Oh shit. That was the wrong button. Okay, I'm good. You already came this way, where are you going? I think there's another way. There's another... Can See that door? Work? I'm pretty sure I can. I, I would prefer a game with more mobility in the double jump, Charles. That's all I was saying. Oh! Oh, it's a slide! Whee! You totally forgot about this. That's okay. I don't come back to Jack 1 very often. I, I don't come back to the Jack games very often. I enjoy 2 and 3 a, a little bit more, I think, but they take a lot of time investment. Boxes of Dark Eco, why are they here? Wait. What is this? Whatever. I guess you need Blue Eco to have you. Oh, this is time to win. Oh, you gotta touch all the things. Did I do it? Nope. There's another one to the right? Yeah, I see it. It's over there. Oh, there's another one too there. Yeah. Yep, they reset. I'll bet we can get all of those things charged at once. Yes, thank you, Dax. Are you serious? Okay, good. Now, does it stay, or do I have to? Have okay. Well, one way to find out. Please leave me alone. Oh, that's not an entrance. No, it's down there. Oh, it's on the ground floor. Yeah. Okay, I didn't notice. This was a precursor's house. Aww. Or not? Aww. It's an elevator. Oh, we're dipping in the 30s, Zelrock! 
go look around in the sea here and find the, the kid from AI frozen somewhere. <laughs> Are you the great fairy? <laughs> cool. You... I guess that's on the overworld now. Are we on the... Oh, it took us out. Alright. Yeah. Cool. cool. Uh... Is it safe? Better hurry. Wow! You raised a piece Swim of fast, Jack. ruins to the surface. It seems you can use eco in ways we've never seen before. A power cell surfaced with the room. Climb up there and get it. Yeah, I'm on it. Oh god damn it. Who at this? Hat in time. Well, I that's good. I can't wait to play hat in time and have a double jump that double jump that doesn't actively suck ass. Does a uh, banjo kazooie have like that's like a, a low height double jump? Isn't it's it? a it's a decent it's a decent enough. It allows you to float if you miss it. You just if, on the second jump you can hold A and then you, she just kind of flaps downward a little bit. So it's not totally shitty. It's better than this double jump. Cause you know what? She doesn't look you don't she doesn't lose momentum during the double jump. Yeah. What's another Uh we'll go as long as you feel like playing. Uh it's over there. Oh I can't cross cross it. Shit. Uh hmm. but how get back? I guess over here. Yeah. We got that other floating bridge over to, I think, like a swamp area? I think so. If I remember correctly. Charles says, quit whining. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Charles. Am I not allowed to criticize a bad double jump anymore? I s I'm sorry, I thought this was America. I thought this was America! It's a free country! This game's good, just despite its double jump, Charles. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be keeping playing this game if I thought it was. By the way, that dude was whining. Yeah. Nice, does Mario Sunshine count as double jump? You just jump and then kind of float up a little bit. It's right? a, it's not really a double jump. Yeah. Oh, hello. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. Hello, Laura Croft. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help a me out. A couple of hey, capable no fellows. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We can. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? Okay. Oh, so hey. they are currency. Orbs are currency. It's the oh, most inconvenient yeah. fucking currency. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. Why are you posing, lady? Why Drives does your hat have an antenna? Uh, she can pick up space aliens. Rock. Precursor. We gotta save the lightning moles. Oh, precursor basin. Is this the place with the race? What do we gotta do for the race? We gotta get the guy. I think it's this orbs. 
Yeah, look, see the bikes up here. Oh, we just top on is all. Yep. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oh, we have to chase things? Yeah, with on our, our nice hover bike. Alright, let's go. This does feel like a, like a, na a mostly naturalist society on the outskirts of Termina or something. Yeah. They're looking at the moon falling in the distance, and they're like, "Hey, we should probably avoid Clock Town for, for like." The uh, Terminians are the precursors. They're the ones who had all this technology. Clock Town technology. Oh man. I still wish that they that they would take a chance on a cyberpunk Zelda. Hey, cool, it's actually kind of stable if I fly over here. Oh, no, never mind. Well, there's the cursor technology still lights up. Were we asked to hunt to chase these things? Uh, we probably should. They looked at me funny. I'm sure there's some 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 power cell in, in it if we do. It's okay. Oh. We have our time slow power to help us. It just increases reaction time. It doesn't actually make time slower. Come on. Perception slow. Now this is like the thieves in Spyro, but nah, less nah, 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 nah. controllable. That, by the way, that dragon's wearing a diaper. Yeah. Or, like, a loincloth? Dragon. Sumo it's dragon. a lurker. Oh. Dragons wouldn't die themselves to wear diapers. I'm really speaking. struggling to control this thing. Not that I blame I you. I don't it. remember how it controls. Cool. We did it. What, what do we get? have to get all of them to get a reward. Yeah, and then, then the first that woman will pop up and be like, oh, goody, you... How dare you just, you kill all these all these endangered creatures? If I give you an orb, will you leave? <laughs> this is... So the precursor orbs replace the power cells as the collectibles in Jack 2 and all. Oh. Almost as if they're rare. Oh, whoops. I fell. Darn it. You can't, like, hop off, can you? Uh... Nope. Oh, hey, Green Eco. Wait, what does Green Eco do in the, con in the context of a bike? I guess it's just a bike. I can't turn fast quick enough. I think Jack. I think Daxter is his own playable character in uh, Jack X. So you oh. just put the little dude in his own uh, his own hover bike. <laughs> but oh, I guess because they're all poisoned. Jack and Daxter break. Oh, yeah, up. that was the plot. One of the characters died and it had his will reading, I've poisoned all your drinks, now race for me! <laughs> Was that actually true? Did he actually poison everyone? I think so. I don't remember. Because I've been like, I have fucking with you. I mean, he was dead. It was a reported message. Yeah. Come on. It's 
such a sharp turn onto the ramp. Uh, remember that alien with the fucking dropsy? Dropsy? Yeah, the, the, the you know the the pajama with like the the flap on the on the rear end. Oh, and Teen Titans. Yeah. The, like his fucking alien ship was like a baby for him. Yeah. That was weird. Very intimidating that villain. Was like, took all of the Titans combined to take him down. Hey, you think Slade could have taken him? Also, Jack murdered the guy. Jack murdered the fuck out of the guy. Wait, Jack murdered? Him? Wait, who what? Uh, don't worry about it. We'll get to it. Oh man, I was talking to my parents about. Uh, I was talking to my parents about about the arc we're on on Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. Just abused by it. Just, just like. In which the time itself is now a game board. Yeah. Come on. It's not always the most interesting arc because there's like no actual card game dueling for yeah. the most part. Then there was, and it's. But but the premise is incredibly bizarre and surreal. It's a great premise. I love. I love. I keep forgetting which turns I need to do. I, I think we need to kill these guys. So why would we they be just, so hard we could to just get? not? We could not worry about this particular power cell. I'm doing it! I'm already committed. I killed one of them. If I don't, he's just he's Can't just gonna leave come orphans. Back. No witnesses. Got him! Alright. Also, I figured it out. Those flowers that sometimes show up. Oh, yeah. Is this... Am I doing the right thing? Oh, you're supposed to, like, uh, kill all the purple plants. Yeah, I think this is what I need to do. I'm... Wa welcome to Lawnmower Simulator 2020. Everyone's favorite. It's like a fucking, uh... There's that fucking plug-and-play game, which was just, like, lawnmower. Yep. Was that on the one we played, or are you just aware yeah, of I that? Yeah, I think so. I believe it was. You did in, 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 in all one plug-and-play stream. Yeah. Well, that was the only one we... That was the only one we found. Yeah. I wonder if someone's gonna compile like a, like a database of all the shitty plug and play ROMs. Because they're just ROMs on there. Yeah, they're ROMs. They're, some of them are like actual NES games, except, uh, except modified. Oh my god. What the trick is doing this? tedious at all. Oh it's like god. mowing a lawn that doesn't want to be mowed. I'm not. I'm not dealing with that um, so unless I need to. See, cause cause the chasing the dragons, you got me fucking doing it. So I took out two of them. Was I'm, that a Yu-Gi-Oh arc? Chasing dragons. Waking the dragons. Waking the dragons. That was that was the one where. Darts arc. Yeah, darts. I, evil Joey Wheeler, have lived for thousands of years. When I think of, see, when I when I think of the name Darts, I can't help but think of like a fucking pirate. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, come get me back here. I come to the game pirates, Darts. The game pirates. <laughs> and, but he is being the like other a other ones to beat Foxy. At a Davy back challenge. <laughs> They're good at it. Yugi Moto versus Foxy. I outran him. Come on. I get you. Got him. Yeah. 
unique ideas for solo streams, so... Well, can I get in there? I guess no. not. I gotta kill the red things. That's a separate goal from the... the oh wait, things. these guys? Oh wait, these are, these are killable? I thought I guess, they were I just... I don't know. Do we have to kill all the things? Or are these the things we're trying to protect? Drink all the booze, kill all the things. You Where? killed the lightning moles! <laughs> yeah. Uh... They were coming. Funny. They were coming. They were coming right for us. Get in there. Oh hey, I am supposed to lure him in there. Okay. You gotta hurt him. Wait, hold on. You gotta kill this thing. It looks like a like a Sonic Lost World enemy. Oh yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Oh, uh oh. There's, there there were a lot of games that just kind of had vague, lobular things for bad guys. Think Sonic Lost World's worth playing? Uh, one of the one of Wicker Champ's friends is playing it now. He's kind of he's not having great feelings with it. Uh, it wasn't a popular Sonic game. Sonic it was Colors not one of the good ones. Sonic Colors was uh, well received. Unleashed Colors and Generations are the more recent games. The Golden Secret Light. Yeah, no. I'm coming for you! See, I told you they had an orb! One of them. We just had to wipe out the species for it. Yeah. Alright, how, how many... of uh, one. Just, just <laughs> one. <laughs> Fuck it. These seem time-consuming. No yeah. Zoomer. That's one more power cell. Zoomer? Hey, Zoomer. Jack, I don't appreciate you abusing my powers to get back to the start of the level. <laughs> I realize that Jack can't really say anything because he's a silent protagonist. So this is kind of one-sided. Alright, if you're feeling sorry, not. Nah. You <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> Whenever we start a new series, we just come up with... One of my favorite parts about doing a stream is just... Wait, what? We always get lore when a game doesn't work right. Yeah, or even when it does we work we right. We got Death Mario and Time Slow Jack. Or percep Slow Perception Jack. And also Time Warp Dax. We don't really have any specific characters or traits for Sonic, other than that he is incredibly strong. That's because of Sonic X, though. Well, yeah. I mean, also in in uni I mean, in Sonic Universe, it's not like so Mobians were portrayed as weak. I mean, Sonic was able to just shred robots like nobody's business. That's gonna start a series of rings to follow through. A bunch to go. Okay. Hello, um, Darian. Hey, Darian. So, uh, it's running better than it did the last time. It's yeah. still chugging now and again, yeah, as you but... can see. No, it's okay. But it's actually just a power that Jack has. You a see, power or a perceive curse. in slow motion. Yeah. Also, Daxter can warp time. I mean, we assume because he doesn't really care about making a snarky comment after dying. Wait, let's see. Is this just a power cell, or is this just for, for bragging rights? That was a power cell. Okay. Well, we need more of those. Oh. Hard, hard right. I would say this controls better than the the vehicle controls are a little better in Jack Two. This still controls better than the the hoverboard in Jack Two, though. Which I've mentioned were the only, basically the only challenges that I could never do in Jack 2. They're like score attack. Oh, I on a hoverboard. Can't wait to ace them. Because oh. you're playing Racer Revenge again. I gotta unlock Darth Maul and Darth Vader. Okay. Wait, are they in? So, Pod Racer had a sequel on the PS2 that was shittier. However, it apparently featured Darth Maul and Darth Vader. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm glad they went forward in time and saw my complaints and then took my idea. <laughs> Too bad they didn't use it for the good racer game. It was mo according to Darian, it was mostly just kind of the same, but not as not as interesting, not as fun. But uh, the main thing that sounded like it kills it, your first to first person mode. Wait, you have to do it in first person? You can hold a button at all times to be in third person mode. Otherwise, you're in first person mode. But why though? Why, God, why would you... can you imagine F-Zero in first person? That would um, ruin it! No, not just first person, first person VR. Oh, yeah. That would be... That would be... That would... You get motion sickness. Okay, but hear me out. Super Monkey Ball, first person VR. Fall <laughs> All out! I saw that stream that uh, Vinny did of uh, that NES yeah. uh, first uh, VR. Looked interesting. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. seemed kind of like that, uh, that like oh, arcade shit. thing. Oh God as damn it! You're, you're really just playing an NES game with VR. You know what? Visibility. You know what? That that actually sounds sounds like it'd be a good time though. I hate this. If I admit, it's like my worst nightmare is just the You could just needle. not do it and leave this area. I mean... Go back to the walking parts. Also, of course, Dar of course Darth Vader has a pod racer. He's the best pod racer ever. Yeah. He's just rusty. Uh, what does this pod racer look like? Ah, oh, shit. Darth Vader in a pod racer versus Black Shadow in his F-Zero machine. <laughs> Just no. leave! Don't get back on, Jack! What is the... No, you, I, you gotta show me. What does the pod... What does Darth Vader's pod racer look like? I need to know. Tell me, baby girl. I want to know. Darth Vader pod racer. Go to the swamp. The swamp is fun as hell, says Charles. Okay, I'll go to the swamp after my last attempt at this. Uh, well, if I'm look, if the screenshot is accurate, I'm gonna put it through Darien first just to check. It said there's a Wikipedia article for Thai Pod Racer. Okay, yes, it is the Thai Fighter, but as a Pod Racer. Wait, what? It's just. I'll send it to you on Discord. <laughs> See, I, I, they, they, this game would have been ten times more successful if they did silly shit like that. Apparently, Episode One Racer is the most successful selling game in the sci-fi racer genre. It's outsold every F-Zero and Wipeout. Well, it's a very small genre. It is, yeah. Sci -fi it's also racer. Star Wars, so of course it has selling power. Yeah. Back when that meant something, the Star Wars brand. I did, uh... Okay, we were kind of talking about this recently because I did try to, uh... I got optimistic and I did try to get Episode 1 Racer again on Steam and try to troubleshoot it more, yeah. and after hours it didn't change yeah. anything. It still will not recognize my controller, so it's just ten dollars wasted. Again. All right, where's the where's the exit? Where's the nearest explosive? <laughs> no fear, Jack. God damn it, Jack! Kids don't fuck with eco. <laughs> now I can get back to my research. I'm 
man. Imagine somebody just like on like who's an eco master, but they also trip acid. Until we find I gotta find a good like uh like a uh, bug-eyed picture of Jack, so that anytime that happens, I'm doing a highlights video, I can just overlay Jack tripping the fuck out, staring into the distance. That's, uh, that's or like it's like a PTSD thing. Best way to describe Racer Revenge is that it feels like a slight step backwards, things feel slower than they should be, there's permadeath, and the tracks aren't all that interesting. Permadeath? In a Star oh yeah, they Wars took episode. a token from F-Zero. Which I don't think is necessarily a step backwards, it could be... could be interesting. You can have it as it's a best mode. if it's optional. Yeah, like... Blur, blur was fun that way. Alright, so, uh... Hmm. Where's the swamp? Uh, across the bridge under the hut. I don't know if I'm going the right way. This is the right way. Okay. Ah, uh, somebody's smoking weed outside again. I can smell it. At last, I can finish my research. Welcome to the devil's toilet. Don't fall in. <laughs> that was. That'll always be one of my favorite, like, moments from Dragon, from original Dragon Ball, is just like, they call it the Devil's Toilet. Here's a tip, don't fall in, it's as if you need to know. Okay. Ready? I don't even know if that was hostile, I might have just punched a rat for no reason. Remember that sucks because of rubber banding, which means the racers can easily just ram into you and kill you. Yeah. The what the oh, hell? hey, we got projectiles. Oh, yeah, we did. Holy shit. I don't get... Stay home, kind of. Imagine a character armed with both guns and Hadoukens. So somebody disarms him and then he just does a Hadouken and then kills him anyway. I don't like to use this technique. Oh, speaking of Star Wars, uh... You can shoot fireballs this can only be positive. Uh, I, uh... I wanted to show my parents, uh, the, uh... Star Wars Third Reach is backstrip of the West Dub. Yeah. Not even tell them they were watching it and see what their reaction is. That they would find it funny. That looks like it hurt. Should I call I for backup? What, what was there? Are they watching it? No, I want I want to show them it. I want to get it and download it on on the thumb drive and MP4 format or whatever. Plug it into the entertainment system and just show it to them. Because <laughs> not only is there subtitles, but also has a I want I want them to watch it because I think that would be hilarious. mechanic where the game encourages you to KO other racers, you spend the whole race ramming to people and killing them. I, that was my favorite chapter of F-Zero GX. I wish it was, was a game mode in that game. What the fuck? What is, uh, why is there electric sounds? Is the swamp electrified? It's electric tar. Killed the dinosaurs. Okay, I got him. The Dark Eco's only utility is being explosive. Yeah, it's a new one. Which seems to be the utility of other Eco as well, it's just that the other Eco is more controllable. Yeah, Dark Eco is volatile. So is, red, is the Red Eco Sage just gonna be a Goron? Just a big buff mountain dude who's all about strength? Maybe. Oh, jeez, that's so cool. Over the vines. Let's see if we can get to the end of this area, the the blue eco world. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's my attempt. Like beat the boss and then go on to. I, I, I assume red is the next one. Oh, 
gotta hide. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just tell him the movie. Like, hey, you wanna see a you wanna see a mystery movie? And I'll say something really teary at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get changed back now? Time warp. Spoiler, he's not gonna get changed back. Sorry, Daxter. Get used to it. You're too valuable as a mascot. Maybe De doesn't De maybe Daxter use gets used to his form, because that's when he gets that of those amazing time rewind powers. Yeah. He didn't have them before, then he turned into a to an otter, and then now he gets access to amazing time powers, and he's like, sure. Uh, I could stream it if I wanted to. The first person thing is again the thing that really has me questioning. So I do a solo stream, Tony Hawk 3, all first person. <laughs> we lost. We what? We lost. I don't want to say lost necessarily, but that was a stream that we lost a lot of it because of the microphone issues and the parts that are there the microphone is cutting in and out constantly yeah that was before it was in that era the laptop era yeah. fortunately we've had no microphone issues ever again i wonder if there's a way to map the ps2 emulator such that l1 is just always held down pressing nothing for the pod racing game. I'm sure... Oh, uh... I'm sure there is. Auto clicker. I guess Jack's supposed to be putting on his goggles when he does that. Because there's, like, uh, water dripping on the lens. Yeah, what the... I always find it weird how people wear the goggles and they don't, they, they don't, like, actually put them on. Yeah. Just like... Like, why do you have them? You just go to school? He actually wanted to be a Digimon character. A Digimon protagonist, because they always have goggles. Everyone! Come on! There we go. Some, uh, very high... Cursor sensitivity. Oh, I can't so grab that, it. Is that another area over there? Across the jump pad? Oh, uh, no, it was just the... It was just the one thing. Yeah, oh. These fucking rats. Rogue Squadron, there's a cheat that lets you fly a Buick. Yes, I, I know that. I know that cheat. The Buick. <laughs> Fuck. Was it? Buick loves video games. <laughs> Imagine you're. No, I'm sorry. It wasn't the. It was a Mercedes Benz in Mario Maker. Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't know I could do this. Cool. Wee. Athletic dude. Yeah, he's strong, he's athletic. Oh, shit, okay. I can punch that frog. Bastard rats making fun of me. I ho! Hello! Anyone in here? This cave? Who's operating these spikes? The hell are you doing in my cave? Why are all you teenagers fucking in my cave? <laughs> you remember where that's from? Uh, you've mentioned it before, yeah, I know so. Yeah, Locky's movie called The Gaming of Rebecca, and it's like... It, they were like talking about, like, Hey, we're going to the cave. You mean you haven't been in the cave? And then, then the, they were like thinking, Oh, it's just a euphemism for sex, right? But nope, it was a literal cave. Dex had nothing to fucking say there. The 
swamp has a rat problem. Yeah, it's a swamp. I would be surprised if I had if there was a swamp without a rat problem. Well, if there's not a rat problem, it's probably got an ogre. This is the kind of swamp that the fucking, uh... That the fucking, uh... What's it? The, uh, Duck Dynasty people would like to hunt in. Yeah, like, hunt rats. Rat Dynasty. I guess one ego overrides another. I once watched a Let's Play of some dudes playing the Duck Dynasty video game. Yeah. How'd that go? Uh, it was, it was, it was a very boring game. It, it, the whole thing was like, hey, we're gonna have a family celebration, but first, let's go hunting. The swamp is fun as hell. <laughs> you should go to the swamp. The f Jack is love. Jack is life. You know what? Let's check out the Jack and Daxters on fanfiction.net. What? Oh, you're, you're, wait, you're going to fun fanfiction.net? Did I not? You're stealing my gimmick. Go for it. Oh, okay, I get it now. Shh. Those sink so fast. Yeah. Jack and Daxter, 2.7 thousand. Okay. That sounds about right. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I jumped wrong. <laughs> The slowdown is fucking with me. No, it's a utility. It's a gift, Jack. I have to learn to master it because it could be helpful. 158 crossovers for Jack and Daxter. Okay. Care to take a guess at some of the more popular ones? Ratchet and Naruto's number one. Close. Oh, really? That's number one. Ratchet and Clank is number one. Okay, cool. That's what I figured. The Naruto second. Followed by Naruto. Yeah. 22 Ratchet and Clank, 21 Naruto. <laughs> 8 Kingdom Hearts. 8 Kingdom Hearts, yeah. 7 Spyro the Dragon. 6 okay. Harry Potter. Yeah. 6 Pirates of the Caribbean Online. Online? Specifically online. <laughs> 5 what? Lucky Star. What, what the fuck are the Lucky Star girls doing in Jack and Daxter? Hey, Kaname, you want to get some green ego? Maybe you could help me, make me help me grow and get a bust. Four Star Wars, so uh, Jack's pod racing. Okay. Four Uncharted. That's because they're the same studio. Three Legend of Zelda. Three Crash Bandicoot. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Wait, how am I supposed to avoid that? Uh. Oh, I guess to punch the frog. <laughs> okay. Our first swamp token. Got it. Well, these are getting harder. Yeah. Probably gonna take a while. This game. Two Stargate SG1. Okay, I, I, I'm familiar with the series. I I can see why how that would be a thing. Two are... miscellaneous games. Miscellaneous? What Monster Girl Quest? Not important enough for their own categories. Check check what the miscellaneous games are. I wanna know. It's, oh, it's, it says two, but then there's only one when I go to the page. Probably because one is uh, is M rated. So yeah, it could be Monster Girl Quest. Let me just log into my fanfiction.net account. No, you don't need to. You can just uh, to you can just toggle the M rated stuff. Don't ask me how I know this. Jack and Daxter Fusion Planet. Knack? Wait, K N A C K. Oh yeah, that's a game. I don't know what the game is about. I know it exists. 
And the other one is bug sex mechanics. What? DSP was a simple YouTube Let's Player cursed with the absolute worst luck in wait, video games. Wait a minute, wait a minute, it crossover between the Dark Side <laughs> Phil? You're familiar Due to the with Dark Side Phil, right? Game developers, Phil keeps getting <laughs> fucked over by these games time and time again. <laughs> so this is a fan fiction about Dark Side Phil literally getting fucked by the games he's playing. <laughs> Somebody did a troll pick on Dark Side Phil? That's hilarious. Two Sonic the Hedgehog, two Inuyasha, two Lion King, Lion King. two. Wait, two Star Wars? The Star Wars was up higher. How is there's a four Star Wars and there's a two Star Wars? Uh. So I guess in total there's six Star Wars. Star Wars and Star Wars. Is that one? Wait, one game series, one the movie? What? Maybe. I, I only have Star Wars and Star Wars. Then a bunch with only one crossover. Yeah. I think it's much. Ouch. Wait, what? There's, a, there's oh, two entries for Star Wars for some reason. Star Wars and Star Wars. The Kingdom Hearts, all, all Kingdom Hearts fan fictions are going to be pretty predictable. It's going to involve them landing Maybe. in the world of the crossover. Maybe. You'd be surprised. Some of them are weird. An accident in Suna leads to young Naruto using Eco instead of Chakra. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh oh. Another arena. I love them swap arenas with rats. Man, we're gonna proper swap arena. There's no banjos. Well, let's try that again. Naruto was different from everyone else in Haven, and for some reason, the Baron wants him. Is that- wait, who's the Baron? Baron Praxis! Oh, yeah. yeah. Naruto. Naruto fanfics are usually just, Naruto is- everybody hates Naruto, but- but now Naruto's gonna be special. saw too much of themselves in uh, early Naruto. Oh wow, this arena sucks. It's, it's hard. Lee is such a more likable, plucky loser character than Naruto was. Wait, who is? Rock Lee. Oh yeah, no, the, the, the series should have been about Rock Lee. Rock Lee's cool. Also, he didn't know any, like, he couldn't learn, he didn't know or couldn't learn any ninja shit. So he just trained heavily on just being, like, the best fighter ever. And... Go Goku would approve of Rock Lee. Yeah. Punch. I gotta see these lucky star ones. Yeah, look at the lucky star stuff. I'm so curious about that. They are all by the same author. <laughs> Good so far. A year has passed since Anthony stopped using his dark powers, but now the darkness within is controlling him again. Anthony. That doesn't mention anything about Jack or Lucky Star. Anthony, the 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 Anthony, the original character. Don't steal. Oh, there's he's got multiple original characters. A victim to Dark Eco, Henry was exiled to Japan. Now he must learn to control his new powers. With the help of the Lucky Star cast? Yes. Okay. Dark Sinatra, Anthony sings You Make Me Feel So Young to Yutaka. Which one's Yutaka again? The teacher? I, I don't remember. Was that the cousin? Like the little frail one? 
Oh man, I I just realized I don't think I've ever looked to see if there's any Lucky Star Azumanga crossovers. There's gotta be. There has to be. If you play Jack and Daxter, the characters won't have long ears. He's going out of his way to uh, point out that he just fucked that part of the continuity. Please ignore it. But the long ears make him unique. What are you? Is he is he some kind of elven supremacist or anti or elven racist? It's it's a fix fix. We gotta fix the long ears. They're stupid and they don't belong in Jack and Daxter. But but they're elves. What are you talking about, guy? Oh god. How's the manga die at 118 crossovers? Oh, with the lucky star? Uh no, total. Okay. Not any one series with like a huge number of them. The number one is Ranma with only six. Oh Ranma? Okay. RV has four, Lucky Star has three. Only but three? They are, they are by different authors though. So three different authors cross them over. Swamp levels in general are very samey. Yeah, it's like it's a, a, lot of, a lot of mud to slow you down in. Yeah. A lot of stuff you generally don't want to fall in or take damage. You know, the one one swamp level that I played that was really good was in was in Max Payne 3. And uh, and that swamp level had very little swamp. Oh. That doesn't sound like the kind of game that would have a lot of swamp in it. Yeah, it was mostly on a dock and then when you're actually in the swamp it was just a boat chase scene and you had a, a machine gun, it was great. Howdy, friends! Enjoying my beautiful swamp? I own these here parts. You do? Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Get it. Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Parley. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack. Those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farty will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Good. Okay, let's do it. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. Keep them from eating at least one of them snacks. Shoot them. Uh, okay. I got a family reunion coming up, but first let's hunt stuff. Fantasy, fantasy Elven Hillbilly. Oh man, I kind of want to see that. Just, yeah. uh, just like, like hill, Elven Hillbillies. Preferably immediately after an elf has just finished bragging about how high class the elves are. <laughs> the crass humans. <laughs> you tell them, sis. Uh, elven. I just, I don't know, just, uh, you know how, I, you know how they say, like, all, all, uh, fancy creatures tend to follow certain stereotypes? I would just yeah. love to see, uh, like, a series where just, elves were just, like, like, swamp hillbillies or something. Just Someone, hillbillies. Some voice actor made a post about that on Twitter, I don't remember who it was, but they were saying, like, hey, let's, let's start a petition to change all the fancy creature accents. Yeah, you can have you can have orcs be the nobles for once. Instead of like proud warrior culture. And then the dwarves can be the proud warrior race. And then uh you have the And then you know what? You can have the kobold be the sniffy race. Somehow I missed this. The number three crossover with Azumanga Dayo is Godzilla. Okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Godzilla's attacking! What are the girls gonna do? That's probably it, right? Probably. Yeah. Alright. 
Oh, there's a, there's one up there. I just need to find a way to get up on the platforms. I'm, no, I'm sorry. The top one is called Osaka versus Godzilla. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who's gonna win. It's probably an Osaka dream she's having. Oh. Hey, Osaka, what'd you dream about? I dreamt that I was fighting Godzilla. That was weird. I've been a lot more Japanese to reference Godzilla if he was public domain. You gotta worry about Toho though. Toho or Toei? To Toho. Toho? Toho owns Godzilla. Toei is uh Sea and rocks. That was the animation division. Oh. It's just a, a swamp minefield. You know what was the saddest scene I've ever seen in the swamp? What? Uh, you ever watched Never Ending Lizards? Story? No. Okay, there's a scene where, like, the main character, or, or like, the main character in the story. That'll make sense if you watch it. Uh, it he was uh, with uh, with his horse, and he was going through the swamp, the swamps of sorrow, to get to uh, to an elder to see to see how to stop uh, the nothing. Yeah. And uh, from the never-ending story, that nothing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Never-ending story. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, the scene where where the where the main character is going through the swamps of uh, sadness. Yeah. You remember that scene? I know, it's been a long time since I saw Never Ending it's Story. Like, it's like they're going through and then the horse just stops and then and then he's like, why are, why are you stopping? And then this horse is like slowly sinking and he's just like, like, no, you gotta move! It's too sad to continue. Yeah. Oh. How does it... And then, yeah, you don't see the horse's head go in because... That poor, that poor fucking actor horse. Yeah. But then, and I was just like, that, that was a fucking brutal scene. This swamp is long as fuck. This is a huge swamp. Artax. Was that the name of yeah. the horse? Artax. Yeah. That's funny. I don't, I don't remember that, that being a tax I signed up for. So it must be your tax. Swamp is big as fuck! Yeah. We run into Toph out here. <laughs> You're a worthless piece of shit, Jack! You'll never amount to anything! Stay as long as you like. <laughs> that was my interpretation of, uh, of that scene, yes. Just... <laughs> Man, she's really cool! But she's a lot... She is a she is a character. Top is a character of contrast sometimes. There's a there's a period in the comics when she runs for governor of the Earth Kingdom or a Earth, a portion of it. Governor she doesn't Top. want to. She's basically forced into it. <laughs> she doesn't. Who forced her? Uh, her her daughter. Oh oh yeah that. Which which one? Uh, Sue, the one who runs south of the Metal City. Oh, okay. The one with it the actual... It doesn't ever result in anything. She does not, in fact, become a governor. Oh, she doesn't become a Dark Horse victory like, uh, Suzuku? God. Suzuku is... It was basically, Mom, you've got to run for governor because the only other person running is, like, Hitler. <laughs> Wait, I we thought, gotta I get thought anyone Kavira was the, but the bad guy. I thought to run Kavira for was I thought Kavira was the antagonist of uh of the Oh you haven't seen the bad guy of the Kavira Redemption arc. <laughs> oh yeah, the Kavira Redemption arc. Yeah, that happens. What was the worst thing that Kavira did? Uh she did purportedly go to uh she like sent 
non-earthbenders to work camps. Oh. But supposedly we find out in the arc that she didn't know that was happening, and she, like, regrets not keeping a better eye on her men. <laughs> I didn't know that was happening! That's convenient for you. What? What? What am I supposed to it's, do it's here? It's a rock. Yes, I can see that! Do we need to, like, get Eco up here to do to do something with this? Oh, I, boy, I sure hope not! It was a pain in the ass getting up here without rushing. Whatever. Can't punch it or anything. Maybe we need to move it before we then come up here to get, like... Oh, wait, hold on. I see what I need to do. Oh, there's a yellow vent over there. Yeah. Like, maybe if we punch the rock, there will be an orb waiting up there for us to then platform up to. You think the setting of this game would would have been better suited for uh, for an RPG? No. Like if you were to take all three of the Jack why games are you, and make why it are you running up, just to blow up the rock. Why don't you just stand back where the vent is and aim and shoot? Okay, sure. Are that there? Worked. Oh no. Okay, good. Hey, we got we got four things from Boggy Swamp. Huzzah! Is the most. Tune in next time for Doug Dynasty when we get three more precursor artifacts. Man. Maybe we got time. We'll hunt some swamp rats. That RPG, except it stars a bunch of a uh, bunch of Doug Dynasty like people, and they have yeah. to go on an epic quest. That would be that would actually be just kind of boring. Be, You'd have to have, like, it would have to be a parody. You'd have, like, redneck parody of RPG classes. Kind of like uh, Cthulhu Saves the World. Instead would... of a paladin, you'd have a guy with a, not a spear, but a pitchfork. <laughs> paladin would be like Farmer. At the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get Jade back now? You won't! How much longer is this goddamn swamp? I like how he puts on the goggles to watch Jack, uh, Daxter berate him, as you can see by the, the water on the lens. Well, warping we back... We leave. We can, oh, We're we back can? at the entrance. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's go. Thanks, Daxter. Shut up, Jack! Every time he uses his powers, he loses a couple minutes off his lifespan. That's what he claims. That's what he says to make Jack feel bad. Yeah. Couple minutes. You don't have enough power cells to power the blue sand. Are you serious? How many do we need? You collect 45 power cells. 45. We have 34. Well, I th I'm. I'm you know what? I'm gonna save this for next time. We'll, we'll go. Yeah. We'll get. We'll get back to this. We're gonna have to. We're gonna need some more. Uh, some more orbs here in Rock Village. I guess we can also teleport back to the easier levels if we want to get more there, if we so choose. Yeah. From oh, we only got two from the Precursor Basin. You know, the one where you're telling me we leave. Well, because those are the time-consuming ones. Yeah. Well. We'll figure it out next time. Yeah, uh, let me, let me, let me, uh, save first. <laughs> Good game. Uh, I'm enjoying it. it uh... Wait, a hundred? You said there were a hundred and one? Or? Uh, I think the last one is for getting all of the orbs. Uh, oh. So that was a nice three and a half hour stream. Very meaty. Happy 4th, everyone! Uh, where is it? Where? There it is. Happy 4th, everyone! Uh, we'll see you we tomorrow are. for another stream, and, uh, don't what stay- are we, What? What are we doing? We're doing Metopia. We're doing Kingdom Hearts. We haven't done Kingdom Hearts in a while. We could do that again. We'll, we'll look at our games. Let's see what we want to do tomorrow. Yeah. But, uh, that's it for today. Well, uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.